This special Hip Hop 50 episode of New Rory and Maul is brought to you by eBay. Rory? Yes. Us Hip Hop fans, we know authentic when we see it, when we hear it. You can't fake us out. Absolutely. And that's why we are partnering with eBay. They know how important it is to be real. Your sneakers, your watches, your jewelry, your handbags are always real with eBay's authenticity guarantee. Nothing gets by those guys. At all. eBay, the details inspected. The fakes rejected. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. Happy birthday, hip hop. No worry, I'm First of all, I want to... Uh, <laughs> it is crazy. That was the count-in. I want to start off by saying... um. You came in today, mm. and um, mm. I didn't know how I was going to feel once I saw your face. Okay. I was like, I don't know. This could be the day. Um, but ultimately, things were good. Energy was right. Um, and then you had a peace offering. I did, yes. Um, Excuse me? So you had a, a watermelon. But I just want to make it clear that I was already bringing that in. It had nothing to do with the weekend. Yeah, you just it just kind of like, it's like if your birthday is December 26th. It had to do with Amara's birthday, but I figured yeah. this would be a great peace offering Yes, for you know this weekend's activities. Mm-hmm. I also did bring in a Pepsi can yeah. just mm-hmm. as a reminder that you know police brutality is over. Mm-hmm. Thank you to the Jenners yep. um, yeah. and Pepsi as well. Mm-hmm. Jen. But I feel like maybe I shouldn't Gen have came, came in today. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was kind of, I didn't know if you were going to come in. It was a lot going on in the world uh, this, this, <laughs> this over the weekend. Mm. Um, tensions were high. Uh, you know, it seemed like the the race war has 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 got underway. Come in. Okay. Um, you think it just started? I don't think it just started. I think now the it's tables kind of, have turned. It's kind of like the aliens. We're seeing more of them. Yep. So it's like you know, it's like okay, they're here. Yeah. Uh, so the race war is uh, it is now it's it's yeah. now being televised. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad that you came in with with this peace offering, uh, for watermelon. But I was kind of offended because I do not think I'm tapping on it and I'm trying to hear. My ancestors, I don't think this is a seeded watermelon. Oh, okay. shit. So you can't plant the seeds of hate in peace. Or is it uh, like, what, what's that Trojan, tro- I can't even speak, tro- uh, Trojan trick. You know when they hid something in the Trojan horse? Uh-huh. Yeah. What's it's called it the, the Trojan castle? horse? Yeah. 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 What, what did you the hide, condom. Yeah. What did you hide yeah. in the watermelon? Yeah. So I don't know. Semen. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> but thank you for this. Um, it's not seedless. Spread your will, white seed all over the place. Although I am It could a, be a trick, though. You yeah. never know. But although I am allergic to watermelon, I do thank you for this. You're allergic you are, to you're watermelon? Allergic to watermelon? Yeah. Never heard of anyone being Oh, and I'm not black. When you say I'm it, allergic to melons. That, I'm allergic to cantaloupe. Wait, even that comet was anti-black. <laughs> I'm allergic to like cantaloupe, honeydew. Oh, yeah. You're just allergic to melons. Yeah. What a re- like what a really weird form of racism to like give somebody a watermelon. Watermelon and chicken. Like those two things are delicious. Yeah. Like, Love it. <laughs> like, oh, you guys like two of the most delicious things ever. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> You like a balanced diet. <laughs> is that a balanced diet? Though? Well, I mean, the fried chicken, chicken and watermelon. You get your protein source and yeah. watermelon. Well, I guess, I guess. But I do love watermelons. But I, they do make my fucking mouth and tongue itch. So nice. I mean, got to deal with it. It is what it is. I suppose. But well, um, how did you, you guys feel? I'm I'm on the uh, back burner today. I, I didn't. I don't know how much I can really. Uh, I'm gonna slice it. Say, because I didn't show up for uh, for my people. Uh huh. Um, clearly, we were outnumbered and outmanned. <laughs> Yes. I didn't get an email, uh, and they didn't bring it up in the, the last meeting that I thought I needed to be in uh, Alabama. Well, before we go there, meeting. before we go there, aside from this, how was everyone's weekend? It was cool. Anybody did anything? Went anywhere? Um, I went to New Jersey barbecue, which was oh, fun. Yeah. We talked about that. Um, that was cool, just to be the old guy under the tree. How did you feel? How do you feel now being the old guy at the at the barbecue? You're like oh, 30. I like it. I got to bring Amara. A lot of people I only get to see like once a year. Mm-hmm. You know, got got to meet. Oh, is that one. type of barbecue? Like you could bring the family? It's both. That's like I thought it was like of, a little freak freak Nick type of thing. It, no, it's both. That's kind of the beauty of it. Like the outskirts of it are where the older people hang out and okay. watch from a distance, and then in the middle is just all the fuck shit. Oh, okay, and got all the you. nasty and handsy things that happen. Got you. Okay, um, did you stroll? I did not stroll. No, mm. you shoulders, shoulders. But you know, did you bring watermelon. You didn't stroll with Amara in you? No, I, I did not. Could have gotten to you. It's funny. She peeped. Uh, all the energy because I brought her into like a group photo of everyone from my era mm-hmm. and she immediately started crying louder than she ever had and I was like yeah you can sense yeah. that these people abused me yeah pieces so. of shit real pieces of shit <laughs> yeah. these guys are yeah it was yeah. it was a good uh good thought process from her to mm-hmm. really know the energy she was around but it was a cool weekend just did that came right back home um right to this news yep 
Nice. Um, so, well, Julian, you went to, you had a, a street, a block party that you were trying to get me to come to. I was outside Excuse every me? day since Tuesday. Fuck yeah. I like that. Since last Tuesday. It's, the, it's when the Dreamville guys are here. It just kind of becomes a whole thing. You just become a fiend. If you will, Big dream. yeah, yeah, um, like your dreams just just come re- become a reality once uh, the dream yeah. go boys. You dream those dreams. I met, I met Cole over finally over the uh, during the week. That was cool. Nice. Oh, right. um, was in the studio with them for a bit. I uh, heard a lot of new shit. Um, those guys are great. Like they just kind of do these camps. Mm-hmm. And for guys that are just like the biggest degenerates I know, they are also insane, Allegedly. like hard workers. Yeah. They, when they lock into the studio, it's just like they just produce. I saw a video of uh, music. J Cole and Adam Sandler hooping. On, uh, yeah, on so I should have been. I missed it. it was while we were recording. Yeah, I got a text like we're going on a bike ride and play basketball, and I was like, oh, everything Julian loves. Literally, yeah. my with your bike was my, here. My yeah. weekly routine. Yeah, they were just on my park. Imagine they throwing backgammon. You would have been fucking sick. Uh, uh, no, time. he would have left. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well it seems like he was gatekeeping because you have your city bike here. I have my bike here. Uh-huh. We could have biked that, right out of here. That's yeah. could have put Eden in the in the basket. Mm-hmm. Uh, Damaris could have <laughs> went on the pegs. But well, Damaris got her biking shorts on today. For sure. Because she thought Trippy Red was. Do that come first. I did. She was like, well, I'm going to go I'm gonna go ahead and trip him out. We were supposed Eddie to have. Uh, out. We were supposed to have Trippy Red on the podcast today, uh, but he had to reschedule. Mm-hmm. And Damaris didn't get that news. So we got the outfit that, mm, you know, yeah. Young Trip would have got. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Damaris. Young Trip. <laughs> <laughs> Damaris don't like that shit. Look, I will say. She don't when, find this shit anytime, funny. At all. Anytime we do have a, a guest on a rap on, like Damaris does, make sure she has the legs covered a little bit. But today, I guess she was just like, creeps. yeah, she was just like, I'm going to let this thigh meat hang out for him mm, and see yeah. how this sparks a conversation. Yeah, so. Out of all of our guests, Trippy was the one I really wanted to Yo, put listen, you know, crazy things I have had attitude. Yeah. And I feel like you're blocking your blessings. Like, what if you two blocking really hit it off? Like, yeah. what if Trippy is your soulmate? Yeah. Word. Like, you what if that happened? kind of your type. What's her type? Trippy Red. Tattoos. <laughs> criminal record. Does Trippy Red have oh, oh, think Don't put that on him. Well, he's been arrested. I mean... How do you know? How do you know that? <laughs> how do I not? So you don't think I would know the guest that we're sitting down with has been arrested or not? All right, aggravated Wait, assault so you battery. Run, you run everyone's paperwork before they. No, but I know who Trippy Red is. Like I know he's been arrested before. Wait, That's what said, you want to lead with. What if he's done like good things for the community? Why don't we say he has? That? He actually was in a long relationship with a very beautiful girl. Um, <laughs> do I feel am I? Because she posted a video the other day and I almost followed her, but I, I, think, I, I did not. Wait, who is his ex girlfriend? I think they broke Corey up. Corey Ray. <laughs> oh, Corey? really? No, I wasn't. I, wasn't oh, I thought you were talking about Koi. Okay. I wasn't talking about Koi, right? But also beautiful, right? Yes, but also beautiful. Yes. Well, I plan on talking about conspiracy shit with him, so I didn't do like my research. Uh, Relationship can be life. conspiracy. Yeah. Okay. Like, do we really yeah. need soulmates? Yeah. What really happened with the source? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <you go. laughs> no, That's sure. we should. He could give us the <laughs> yeah. inside information. But we will have him on uh, sometime soon. Uh, things just had to get rescheduled uh, due to his his business. Um. So, Trippy, we're looking forward to sitting down and kicking it with you soon. Ed and Peej, you were out. And Peach, yeah, uh, Did you see I, it? <clears throat> no, but I went to the Yankee game and I saw Peach. Yeah, just bumped into. Y'all didn't know y'all was both gonna be there. No, oh, that's dope. In big yeah. ass oh. Yankee Stadium, y'all just bumped into each other. Yeah, it was a busy ass game. How many glizzies did off. you guys? Throw they played back. the Astros, right? I ate tenders, not glizzies. Uh, we played. Uh, they played Astros and we lost nine to five. The Yankees okay. suck this year. Yeah. Did you eat the tenders with like the soda and the tender? No, I saw that shit and that was too much. I'm a fat boy, but that's a lot for me. I feel like men can't yeah. do that. No, yeah. What's the move? You dunk. I actually feel like it's soda. Can't do that. No, that's fucking funny though. They have like <laughs> these really big sodas, and at the top you can attach like a circular like thing the that vice, has yeah. So that you tenders can and, and then fries, and fries, and, and then your the straw is in the middle, so you're like like this. Yeah, it's kind of convenient. It's a convenience thing. That's it's like you don't have to boy ass. have it's one so, hand it's free. Like just hold this, and it holds everything else. You got one in your hand and a free hand. Yeah, you know, no, so we got to be on your phone somewhere. Yeah. That can't happen. We all remember the Minley shit where you had to like hold everything like this and walk For back sure. to your seat. There's yeah, trays that's how down I fucking though. Fucking left my wallet at Beyonce trying to do that dumb shit. I wish I. Had oh, maybe you, you ate chicken shit. fingers at a Renaissance show. Yes, I was starving. That's I didn't eat all day. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> they serve food at Beyonce shows. <laughs> People don't eat at Beyonce. That's shows. what I'm saying. People don't eat. Out. Wait, no. I'm like, nah, I definitely no. had a concession was empty. There was no line. There was nothing. Yeah, like people, no are, there, there people are there to work and and be a part of the Renaissance and work. Yeah, that was not eat. And I was carrying all that shit and. Didn't and drop my wallet, but yeah. See, that's why you lost your wallet because somebody saw you with our shit was like, no, take her wallet. Yeah. She's not supposed to be eating. <laughs> These are for the gods now. <laughs> she has to pay her commission to the gods, to the Renaissance you, gods. You paid for the DC uh, Metro to be funded. No, I didn't drop $100,000. <laughs> no, I swiped it on your card. <laughs> Probably. 
Um, yeah, but Beyonce dropped a hundred thousand dollars for the DC Metro to run an extra hour because her God concert damn. got postponed. Oh, that's nice of her. Yeah. That's light. Yeah, that's light work. That's a tax right off. Just a little slow hundred dollars. Are you guys playing mind games with me now? Is there a reason why we haven't dove right into my people getting their asses whooped all I weekend? Tried, Mal- I feel oh, like no, this let, is Mal- you're playing mind games with me right now. Weekend. No, 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 no. We letting this. We letting this simmer. Yeah, we letting this. Chill. Letting this yeah, we gotta let this. You're, you're confusing me. Yeah, no, we letting this. I thought there would be a big victory lap. Yeah, see, we letting this sit. Victory lap. Letting this simmer a little bit. Letting this, you know. Put Slow it, cook, if you put it in a crock pot. Yeah, what? this is in a crock pot right is now. Is there something you really want to say? Like, yeah. no, I'm just, you know, you feel some type of way. You're gonna call me a spick? <laughs> First of all, spick is just a funny thing. Spick is a funny thing. thing to call even if it was, <laughs> even if it wasn't an insulting word, <laughs> like, that word is I'd just laugh hilarious. What the fuck is a spick? Long time. Uh, <laughs> like, so yes, over the I weekend, most of that stuff from the mind of MC when I was a kid. That's sick. And Deep Diddy. Remember like that? the first Great time show. that that Deep show Diddy. came out, I was like, yeah. what the fuck is a beaner in a wetback? Yeah. I had no idea what any of <laughs> What'd that What'd you meant. call me? Because that's, that's more so like West Coast. Yeah, I was like, that's what West is a beaner? Yeah. Now, nah, wetback, I get that off. That's my shit. Wetback is crazy. Why do you get that off? Yeah, where do you get that off? That's like a body of water in Syracuse. That's like an insulting term. You just get that off on a regular, like, who do you say that It's in by a way different border. How are you just getting wetback off? Like, what type of shit is that? Wetback is, because that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, but how you funny. It is a funny term. Yeah, but it's also insulting as fuck. Like, you don't just get that off. Like, that's crazy. But yes, so over the weekend in Montgomery, right? Yes, sir. Small town. Montgomery, small, Alabama. Small town. <laughs> small town, uh, Alabama. There was a, a fist of cuffs, if you would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That made its rounds around the internet. Uh, this had to be one of the... The crew. This video is one of the more recent, like, quickly shared videos in a, in a while for me. Yeah. It's amazing how many people sent me this same exact video. It was a beautiful display of not only unity at the actual event, but the marketing and PR teams that yeah. around. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it was a beautiful display yeah. of how to spread this message out as fast as possible. This video yeah. might have saved Twitter. I don't know if this video saved Twitter, but it brought Twitter together. It, like, it reminded us why we love Twitter. It brought yeah. Twitter together. It brought the timeline together. Everybody kind of chimed in and had something to say. Everybody really shared the video. But uh, <laughs> it was really quiet on threads, yeah. It wasn't much thread activity. Yeah, no, you needed, threading, you needed yeah. a visual. You needed a visual <laughs> representation of everything that happened at this boat dock. Um... But this was a video of Unison. Mm. <laughs> this was a video of Harmony, mm-hmm. a video of togetherness, brotherhood, righteousness, solidarity, solidarity. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> where do we start with this video? Now, the, the beginning of it, the uh, the security guard. So what happened was a boat was docked in a spot on the dock that it shouldn't have been because it needed to be cleared because another, I guess, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, a ferry. A ferry. A ferry was coming in. Not me. And they needed that space. Not you. Not a ferry. A ferry uh, was coming in the dock. And uh, uh, apparently the boat dock security guard told the people that they could not uh, dock there because they needed that space for a uh, a ferry. Yes. So he then proceeded to untie the uh, the little dingle bell, bell, whatever it's called. Mm. Dingle and, uh, bell. Wait, dingle the, bell. The, the rope? rope? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the boat. He untied, <laughs> he untied the little ding, the little dinghy. The pontoon. Uh, it's a, a, a lake boat. It was a yeah, pontoon. Yeah, a pontoon. A pontoon. A pontoon. Yeah. That's the legal term, whatever you yeah. want to call it. A pontoon. A floating flat surface. Yeah. Um, so Car- he un- carrying he, the whites. He, he, he proceeded to untie that and Pons. move it because uh, he told them they couldn't be there. But and, all right, this is where I was confused. They're white. Yep. So they should be able to like... Oh, according to them, they can park anywhere. Yeah. Because they're white. Right. But they didn't know the the security guard... So what's the issue? Here's the (laughs) issue. They didn't know the security guard on duty wasn't having that shit. Mm. I told your asses you couldn't park here. Mm. I have to have this space for the ferry that's coming in. So now he untied it and he pushed the boat away from the dock and so it can float back a little bit. (laughs) So then the people that owned the boat came and they started arguing and all of that. And then in true brother brotherly fashion he made the call and he took his hat off and he threw it in the air and everybody knows since bobby schmurder that means it's lit it's on it's time to get it popping yeah and all hell broke loose after that mitch mitch in uh in sight but it did appear like the whites were the aggressors in the beginning oh they were definitely yeah the The hat was thrown i felt like more in self-defense like all right just let you know the hat was thrown after a fist was thrown yeah yeah. So he well, after he got naturally. pushed, after he got pushed, and a fist was thrown, he threw the hat to let it. To, that was the signal, like, "I right, fuck this job. I'm no longer on the clock. It's time to kick some ass." Mm-hmm. So when he does that, 
Now it's on. It's lit. The guy throws a punch. The security guard proceeds to protect himself, defend himself. He starts fighting back. And actually, the whites that were there with him at first looked like they were trying to stop it until the other gentleman came into the picture yeah. mm -hmm. and started to jump the, the security guard. Well, here, I mean, two things whites know off rip. When we wear flip-flops, we know we shouldn't engage in any fisticuffs. Right. It's well, very tough to to maneuver in flip-flops and on a splintery uh, dock like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like rolling around shirtless with uh, with my toes out. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. You don't have no no grip, no footing, no balance. Your feet are full of wood wood chips now. Um, but yeah, the fight is on. And then you see from the ferry that was waiting to come in, they were recording, mm -hmm. a gentleman jumped off of that ferry. True, a legend. Um, and he was a gentleman that worked for the boat that they were on. He worked for the ferry. Uh, a hero. And so he he jumped off the boat to now help this gentleman that was getting jumped. Who's been deemed a uh, sea murder. Sea murder. Uh, uh, Scuba Gooden Jr. Yep. Michael B. Phelps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aquaman. A Aquaman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, lot of names. He's a, he's a local legend now. He's yep. a legend. I saw he, 21 Salmon somewhere. <laughs> that made me laugh. Listen, his Tyrone Lachey. <laughs> Childish Brent. 21 <laughs> Salmon is crazy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> listen, this gentleman's money is no good in that town anymore. He can eat for free wherever he goes. Absolutely. He can eat for free. He got out the water and gave that dude a 20 piece. No, they're okay. going to do his birthday on that ferry. For yeah, sure. they have to. They have to on the dock, on the ferry. I was just surprised that after swimming, because it looked like it was a pretty a lengthy swim. Yeah. I said, there's no way this man is going to have any triathlon. energy to try. To, yeah, like he he's not going to have any energy to fight after he gets on the dock. If I was in the middle of this uh, squabble and I looked to my left and saw someone swimming towards that clearly was not on my team due to the melanin, mm -hmm. I don't know if I would have been <laughs> scared until he easily pulled himself up off that dock. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever swam like at summer camp and there's a dock? Yeah. It's really hard to get the fuck okay, out if there's not no, a ladder. Not only he that. He pulled himself up so easily onto that fucking dock. No, not only that. This is what you got to take into account. He was in it fully clothed. <laughs> he had some yeah. Have you ever been pushed in the water at yes. a pool party with your, like, your clothes on? You know, people want to throw you in the pool. It's so mm. heavy. And you, trying to get out. You have a pockets full of water trying to yeah. get out. He so, had cargo shorts and a polo. On. Yeah, this dude was yeah. in shape. For you to swim like that and get out of that water so easily and then proceed to start throwing fists. You were a guy that was prepared. You was waiting yeah. for this moment your entire life. <laughs> You've been this, training. Yeah, this was your this was your time to get your shit off. He's so ill. He took his shoes on. He took his shoes off after he got out. Yeah, like he didn't even. I would have lost all that shit before him. No, 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 no. I'm gonna take these off at the dock because I'm gonna need these after we finish kicking ass. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he the was fight like broke Paul out. Paul Walker and in Into the Blue. You guys ever seen that with Jessica Alba? Yeah. Oh yeah, great movie, legend. Paul Walker is boxing like Floyd Mayweather, twenty feet under the surface. Yeah. Fully clothed, but like Ali in the pool. Remember, Ali took that picture. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, then he went. But um, well, one then, of the gentlemen in this video, I'm not gonna lie, he took it a little too far. Uh, he he cracked a white lady over the head with a, a folding chair. Now I don't know if she, I don't know, if, I don't know if you needed to go that far. I think he was just caught up because he hit a white guy first with the chair. Yeah, he hit so, everybody with that. So chair. I think he just was anybody that didn't have no melanin. He was hitting with the chair, but mm -hmm. chair was bisexual. Yeah, hitting 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 a lady over the head with a chair like this is <laughs> fucking crazy. Like this is WWF SummerSlam. Like come mm -hmm. on, man. That, that's it's like you know when we brawling it's so any it's no rules, but it's like after the fight we got to get to the back to the crib. Like yo, son, you wild out right there though. Like I, you ain't have to hit that lady in the head with a. She was already on the ground. Mm. You didn't have to crack in the head with a chair. Well, I think he was. I think she was hitting his fighting his wife. So I think yeah, but your why. wife was kicking ass though. Uh, wife was still, kicking if ass. you hit my wife, I feel like that gives me full range to take a chair over your over your back. Where did the chair come from? From the this, from the ferry. The legendary. You got chair. it off the ferry. Well, Bang. No one, <laughs> listen. Yeah, like, and then the cop was like, "See, like, now I gotta lock you up. That, that's just it's too far. Much. That's too. That's too. That's too much. You can't hit that lady over the head with a chair." Well, we have to talk about the unsung heroes that have not been brought up the captain of that boat swiftly parking it yeah. so more troops could get off i mean he <laughs> has, should have had him at d-day like he, he needs to be in the armed forces no one brought up how that captain brought that ferry mid-fight and just let the troops off listen to have to, to have the wherewithal him or captain sully to just focus <laughs> and say listen he's I, the captain he's a hero <laughs> i have to get this ferry to the dock because there are soldiers on board <laughs> <laughs> who are waiting to help their men in battle. That's right. And he did. He parked it. He didn't have to, the one quick swoosh. Mm. He didn't have to make a broken U-turn and all. Yeah. It was right into the dock. Everybody got off safe. The troops were, were able to get off and uh, and help their comrades in war. This was definitely one of the, um, 
that second wave came in and kicked ass. Too. Oh yeah, the second wave. That's was, what separated it. Like yeah. the second wave allowed the first wave that was defending themselves. To get the first quick wave break. held it down though. Oh for sure, they held it down. They held their own, and then once 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 that boat docked and their backup arrived, <laughs> it was chairs and shit swinging from every every angle, and you, you know. know. You know how pissed off I would have been. All right, I'm taking a wild L with this first wave, but now we're both exhausted. It seems like the fight is about to end. No, that's <laughs> and then just, that's just the first everybody wave. with a hundred energy and a hundred health, yeah, comes running off a boat. Hundred health, <laughs> yeah. Nothing While but, I am huffing and puffing, because all of those people with the what is those purple or blue shirts, they blue all shirt. work for the fair. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it speaks volumes on how well this team gets along and how much this crew genuinely fucks with each other and for is sure. willing to defend themselves no matter what. Like this is just a beautiful display of unity. Team building. Yeah, there was a cop on the deck. He was just spraying pepper spray, trying to like break everybody up. That wasn't working. That was like. Trying they to toss homie in the water. That yeah, that's that's how you're supposed to do. Somebody got to go in the water if we're on the dock and we brawling. You know, bodies is gonna hit the water for sure. But this was um, <laughs> if I get my ass whooped and you throw me in the water, I'm staying in the water until everything calms down. <laughs> I think oh, I'm not guy, getting out of the dock. Like, <laughs> stay in the water. Like, like, no, yo, I'm just gonna try. Like, yo, yo, I will come when y'all calm the fuck yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. Like, if I hit the water, that's it. I'm out. It's like, kind of like when you're in the ring for uh, what is the Royal Rumble? Once you get thrown out of the ring, that's yeah. it. Yeah. It's over. I'm, I'm out of the ring. I'm not fighting no more. Um, but I, I do like that it was just fists being thrown. Well, chairs too, but fists were being thrown. Thank God it was no no shots no being fire. fired. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't no. See, cooking. he didn't have to hit her with the chair. She was already on the ground. Look, no, now she here comes the chair. She's still kicking. Bitch was still no, kicking. No, she's not kicking. Roll, Look, roll she's not doing joint. nothing. Oh, this is old. And that wasn't the clip of her getting hit with the chair. Oh, that oh was God damn. The chin. Oh, shit. She was getting hurt. What was worse, the chair that, back, or that chin check? What do you guys think Jason Aldean thinks about this? Who? Who? Small town. All right. <laughs> Oh, he's I mad. mean, he's mad. This did, he's mad. This didn't come out before he shot the video. Maltown. I said he could, he could oh, make a funny. remix with this footage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is oh for sure. Well, Maul said it, oh, it yeah. wasn't about race, so he would have to be, in fact, be on the black side in this, right? Exactly. Because uh, yeah. they were the small town that came together. They were the said, "Don't try it on our." our, our they, were on, they were on a small boat. When you put it like that, yeah, yeah. Jason yeah. Aldean would definitely ride for the blacks in this one. Oh, he would have the no blacks. choice. That's I mean, he would have no choice. <laughs> did anyone look at his comments this morning? That entire video is just littered with people putting clips to footage of this fight. As it should be. <laughs> Just, hey, man, we tried it in the small town. Right. Look what happened. Got our shit off in the small town, even though Montgomery, Alabama is not that not small, really small town. town but. Did you guys hear about uh, the historical significance because oh. that was a slave port oh. back in the day? Interesting. That's no. fire. I didn't hear about that. That riverfront that... location was where they would bring the slaves. Oh, wow. And that's what made Montgomery... Um, Really, a slave port, one of the biggest slave. Oh, port this makes us. This makes that ass awesome. even. This makes that ass whooping even more. Just like the Alabama Tea Party. And I don't mean to be like insensitive, but when I saw that fact, I was like, I mean, it's Montgomery, Alabama. I think anywhere any we're, port where water yeah. met yeah. the, yeah. the, yeah. the, the I'm land. Sure, I'm sure some slaves came <laughs> through any body of water in Alabama for sure. Yeah, but that that is good to know that though. I, I do like that. That's a, a, a fun yeah. tidbit. Our water ancestors is fucking them up. Well, I believe that gentleman never even came off a ferry. I believe he was living in that water all the time and just decided <laughs> right now. He's just ready He's now. A mermaid. Yeah, yeah, now is yeah. the time. Like, okay, uh, we're here. That was Mermaid. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that was. Mermaid. That was Mermaid. Yeah, that was Mermaid. Uh, the mayor seemed to put out a response to, um, and it, it seemed like based on his words, he just defending the uh, the people that were there to just do their jobs. Oh, yeah, they did their job. She says, last night, the Montgomery Police Department acted swiftly to to detain several reckless individuals for attacking a man who was doing his job. Warrants have been signed and justice will be served. This was an unfortunate incident, which never should have occurred. As our police department investigates these intolerable actions, we should not become desensitized to violence of any kind in our community. Those who chose violence will be held accountable by our criminal justice system and our patrons in blue shirts and khaki shorts who kicked ass. Nice. Yeah. America. They Love should it. name that fairy mm-hmm. that, that first gentleman. Yeah. What did they say the fairy was named? They said the name of the fairy, and it's actually a very funny name. Like it goes. The real name? Yeah. Oh. The name of the fairy is actually very funny. But yes, I'm actually happy that this happened. Yeah, me too. Me too. Sometimes you need a good brawl uh, between the blacks and, and the whites just to kind of make sure, you know, see where it's at, see where the energy is at, Shit see where the, mm-hmm. see who's in shape, who can still throw fists. You would have jumped that mall? Oh, would I? Hell yeah. Oh, that type of shit? You would not have thrown You would have called no, them all wouldn't. types of uh, porch monkeys and left. No, what? 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 I would have what? jumped in. You would have said Doc instead? No, I would have jumped in on that. That looked fun. <laughs> like, bros like that is kind of fun. The like, man getting blown like, out of his Crocs? 
That's crazy. Someone well, said they turned his Crocs to alligators. No, that's old. That's, <laughs> not, that's hilarious. That's a whole different situation. Oh, that had nothing to do with that. Yes. That uh, video was old. See, I I wouldn't have jumped in because I wouldn't want to have been like confused. <laughs> you would have caught like, a stray. Like, oh, yeah, like to be part of their stray. crew. Oh, yeah, they would have for sure whooped your ass. Because that happens pretty often where someone will just catch a punch yeah. in a brawl. It has nothing to do with shit. Yeah. Like, Rory, if you would have been on the ferry with the blacks, like you pro- most likely would have been, <laughs> um, and then jumped off during the brawl, I could definitely see you getting caught up in the... No, nah, but you could have been like an insider. You could have been like in the in the in on the pontoon with the whites sneaked yeah. while they're uh, while yes, they're saying their strategy yeah, yeah. and then you could be like yo they're Secret and then Agent Wars. Yeah. you could well they weren't hiding julian you could see them on that little ass <laughs> no but like they, they huddled for a minute like they were trying they to no, they when everyone they, no, no, they didn't huddle they was trying to get that boat away from the dock so, so i'm saying rory rory could have like hey i'll get the rope and sneaky just like yeah. never remove it from the dock no rory like i'll run over not in our small town and like really confuse them now rory would have jumped on that little pontoon and fucking unplugged the engine and they didn't even know it yeah exactly. like, can't go nowhere without this <laughs> you know rory would have been holding it and looked at the brothers right. like rory takes the key and throws it in the water yeah. <laughs> he de- that would have been your role get on the pontoon take the key out of ignition mm. throw it in the water i'm with you that's and definitely you what rory would have i would have been so scared that entire and they looked like they didn't really need my help no, they, they, the whites maybe. The the whites definitely needed. They could have used more bodies, but I don't care about white people as a whole that much to want to jump into a stranger's washing like that. It yeah, was no. nice seeing I the actual white perpetrators get arrested. Like that never happens. Like yeah, white yeah. people start fights all the time, and they don't. They were arrested. Well, that gentleman ass- that hit that yeah. lady with the chair with the head, he got arrested. Well, yes, as well. he got arrested. He went. He, yeah, that's fair. He, <laughs> listen, he got caught up in the listen, moment. I'm, listen, I, <laughs> listen. I'm with my people. We gonna thump in the in the process. We gonna brawl, but after it's over, we gonna talk like your fam. You went a little too crazy. That was kind of wild. Where where did those chairs come from? The from ferry. the ferry? Yes. That's you know wild. the fair. You've been on both yeah, sides before. You know those white foldable chairs. <laughs> you saw white they, chairs over your white ass. See, you I love saw it. they went back and got the chair and like. They were like celebrating and holding it up and taking photos with it. I saw someone, See what I'm saying? someone, someone hey, photoshopped a do rag on it. On the chair? Yes. All right. That's racist. <laughs> See what I'm saying? We they just got to go too far. They said sometimes. the folding chair is like an open carry now in Alabama. <laughs> the folded chair? Like keep it in the trunk? <laughs> yeah. You need it. A good folding chair is very, very like useful in many situations, as you can see. You can, yeah. They're light, but they do damage. They're like light. They're light but yeah, they but they that plastic, you swing it hard enough, it's going to crack somebody's head open for sure. Oh, without question. Well, this was uh, this was fun to see over the weekend. Everybody had fun with this video, and shout out to everybody that held that gentleman down, that security guard at the dock. Um, good visual reminder that you can get your ass whooped. You can get these like, hands. Everyone relax. You can get these hands. If you out of line and you doing too much, you can get these hands. You can get an ass whooping, and then you know tomorrow we'll we'll all look past it and move forward. Over like fifteen minutes of footage, like this should be an iPhone commercial. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely shot. like, and I'm sure there's more because there were a lot of people with phones. I'm sure there's more footages and a- angles that we didn't see yeah. yet. I feel like the news didn't cover it like I thought they would. Well, if the whites won, they would have probably covered it. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. They can't spread that shit. Yeah, they're not going to they're be. The, uh, the thug headline didn't work no. that well with all the footage. They had. No. How do you guys feel like this is going to affect the election? <laughs> the election? <laughs> d- 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 uh, He's being a dick. No folding chairs at Trump rallies. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you know, every, everyone's going to have to stand. And, yeah, every, and every, if they have chairs, they will be bolted to the ground. I can, I can guarantee you that. I'm just waiting for come November the folding chairs versus tiki torches, like Royal oh, Rumble. Man. That's the that's, that's gonna the be fight. great. Now that's the fight you want to see right there. We need to see that tiki torches. I'm going folding lawn chairs. chairs. I don't know, man. I, don't, I mean, if you break the tiki torch and yeah, have that fluid, if there's enough fluid in the tiki torches, that could be like a wildfire. Yeah, that's like a Molotov. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you mix that with know. Bud Light. Yeah, I'm more oh, scared of though. torches than a folding Bud Light. Chair. Ironically, both were wearing polos. Charlottesville, all those whites had polos on with the tiki torches. Well, the blacks here had polos on because they were working with khakis. Yeah. So it could be, listen, man. Ralph Lauren sponsored. Lacoste first. That'd be a good group uh, Halloween fit. That would be great. The, the, the purple, uh, the, the their uniform, polos. That's like some go out, go out with people the boys. In Alabama, oh, people, people in Alabama, the boys. people in Alabama are definitely doing that for I would Halloween. I love that. One shirt. Little boat. Yeah. We could do it as a crew. Yeah, but you gotta. Roy, I know. I get flip flops. You gotta wear the flip flops. You gotta wear yeah. flip flops. You gotta yeah. wear backward. Uh, I feel like anytime you see a white boy with a Minnesota Twins hat on backwards, that's racist. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. Just the Minnesota Twins. A white boy with a Minnesota Twins hat is just like, uh, either he's a cop or he's a racist. And two things can be true. He's a, a yeah, racist I was cop. Say, those usually go hand in hand. Yeah. Or what about like a Green Bay Packers fitted? 
Oh, you got to be oh sexy to find that. A fitted Green Bay Packers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> where did you, first of all, That's where do you crazy. find a Green Bay Packers <laughs> fitted hat? A fitted. Like well, with the G? With the mesh top? Only oh at like God. the strip malls that have lids. Not like the regular malls. Yeah, you got to go to the strip malls that have a little lids, like yeah. a little little kiosk. Mm-hmm. Not even a full lids, like a kiosk lids. You, that might have to be a custom job, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Green Bay Packers fitted. You know Lil Wayne That's has a few. That's so sick. You know Wayne has a few of these. Ew, oh, dude. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, man. Fuck. That's that, racist, that, that green fuck. Packers hat. That's definitely racist. That's a racist hat for sure. Speaking oh, yeah. of uh, New speaking of racing hat, racist hats, um, so to baseball, <laughs> more fights. Nice, more fights. Uh, the Cleveland Indians and the uh, that was Guardians, the Indians. Guardians. The, Guardians. Excuse me. Whoa, Come whoa, on, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I almost started something else right there. Sorry. How did they land on Guardians? Uh, listen, it's kind of a that's not for us to decipher right now. At least they went from Redskins to like this is just the Washington football team, which might have been worse. I thought thought it was Generals. (laughs) No, they renamed them again. Yeah, the the Generals. Oh, I forgot the Generals. They were the Washington football team for a whole. It was kind of hard. I thought that was what they should have stuck with. Why? What Cleveland Guardian? Like what Guardians they had there? Listen, man, they just wanted to move away from the racist undertones of being called Indians. (laughs) They landed on Guardians. Maybe they're guarding the Indians. I don't know. Mm. The Redskins was but crazy. either way, the Cleveland Guardians and the Chicago White Sox had a game. Well, what are the Cleveland Browns? Hey, man. That whole town has a... <laughs> hey, watch You should have asked Trippy hey, Red. Listen. What's a Cavalier? Watch you know it. What I'm watch it. What is a Cavalier? <laughs> a Cavalier it's, is like... It feels racist. I don't know if it is. It just feels. Yeah, it feels feeling. Like, like if I was riding my bike on a white man's lawn and he called me a Cavalier, I would think that that was like... <laughs> Cavalier is a... Uh, is it well? There's a dog, but it was a royal. See? It was in the, uh, a guy in the royal court, supporter of the king. Yeah, I just feel like if you do more research, it has something to do with England and racism. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Not against it. But either way, the uh, Cleveland Guardians and the Chicago White Sox had a had a game. They played uh, over the weekend and They're guarding white America. Tim Anderson, uh, Tim Anderson, and Jose Ramirez. Mm. Uh, Jose Ramirez was was sliding into second base, and he didn't like. The tag that uh, Tim Anderson laid on him. He felt like Tim Anderson, the tag was a little aggressive. It was a little too much. It really wasn't. Um, it really well, wasn't. Well, I think it, it sparked really from uh, the game before. Someone else on the Guardians slid in to second base and Tim Anderson like pushed their leg off Obviously the base, which the is back. like illegal. Okay. So there was already, you know, like sometimes when there's a crazy yeah. pitch, yeah, it, it may take two games for someone yeah. to get their it get back. It over. It's, it's like rollover minutes. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so I think he was just already sliding into second base with something on his mind. Now, 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 Tim, uh, s- solid baseball player, right? Uh, I guess. He, I got diff- game. he got game. Oh, for sure. But, nice. I don't know. See, this is the problem. Because Tim, Tim squared up first. He took his glove off. Mm-hmm. And Tim was rocking his shit. I just think wow. he got caught with the ro- a very stiff Well, that's arm. how it happens. I have a different take of this. I think Tim Anderson looked like the only one that knew how to fight in this entire yeah, situation. Yeah, he looked like he could fight. But he was connected. He had good mechanics. He, had, he was just missing. And it, that happens in, you know. He didn't have good mechanics. Well, Ramirez, he, Ramirez he, connected his, while in a chokehold. His, his, hand, exactly. his hand, hand wasn't up. His hands wasn't up. Was, his chin ooh. wasn't tucked. You got no, to tuck that chin. Tuck yeah. that chin. His le- he dropped his, his left. He dropped his left. He left that chin exposed, and and Jose Ramirez tagged that ass. He caught him with a. It was a no look, wild haymaker, but it connected. That's, That's all, all you need. Right on the job. All you need to do is connect. He wasn't even looking. He, he was just look. swinging. He was just swinging. He was in a chokehold. Oh but it was God. like yo, you know what? It connected, and Tim Anderson was off balance, chin exposed. Now you on ESPN looking like a motherfucking nigga that got knocked out at the club. <laughs> <It> looks crazy. <laughs> who's the Who's the gentleman holding Jose Ramirez from uh, the Cubs? He has He has him in a, a chokehold. He should have done the full Nelson. So yeah, he couldn't sw- sure. couldn't swing that right. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't want to let it. He see he's holding his glove. He didn't want to let his glove go. I just got to bring that up. Full Nelson, just yeah, like right count. Yeah, but you know Jose Ramirez. He He, he Listen, man. He He connected with a wild right, <laughs> right on the chin. Put Tim Anderson down. And I know Tim Anderson, like he watching these clips all over social, and I know he's like, I'd be tight. Oh my god! Because but if you if you watch the slow mo though, I, the mechanics, Tim Anderson looked all right until those he did. two until just he got knocked out. Tim yeah. Anderson yeah. was beating Ramirez's you know, ass until that hit. I don't know if he was beating his, 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 his ass. ass. No, nah, I don't he, know if he, he was had beating a, his he ass. Missed a, he missed he a two punches. punches. He, he made a swing. lot. He was trying to swing, and then he, he got wasn't connected. beating his ass. Ramirez had good defense. I'll give you that. 
But that counter was look, look. pure fucking luck. You two talk like Tim. Look, Tim took the glove. Well, he right, he, he scored. That's good. That's no, no, good. Good stance. Miss, miss. We've got it. It wasn't beat his ass. <laughs> like, he didn't connect he didn't, at all. He didn't really. He didn't touch Ramirez at all. He didn't touch. Nah, we gotta find the slow mo. There's another angle. He didn't touch Ramirez at all. Where he touched him? No, he didn't. That's what I'm saying. Ramirez had good defense. Miss with right. Look. Nothing there. Nothing. We miss again. <laughs> so all that's was great mechanics ass. on that right hook. Listen, listen, great listen, mechanics. Baby D, I'm with you. You want you want the black guy to look good out there. Tim Anderson got his ass knocked out. They're both out. black. Guys. Are you he saying Dominicans are not black? Yeah. I mean, and they're no it black. depends on which Dominican <laughs> you're talking Dominican. to. But I mean, black. listen, Tim Anderson, you know, just keep that chin chuck. Act like you got to act like you got a golf ball under the chin and the shoulder. Keep it tucked. And you would have been on your feet. You, you know what I mean? But see, he looked, that looked like, you know, you know what you're doing. Boop. And then this looked like you don't know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, but is that not the case? Nah, of like, e- even the hip movement on the, the two hooks look good. He just didn't connect. Yeah, man. It could be like a case of like the guy that's nice in like the like uh, NBA warmups that could hit all the shots, do all the crazy dunks. All yeah, the when the stop to yeah, put yeah. him in a game, it's like, bro. Yeah. You're, he has the headband, the wristband, everything yeah, on. You take one dribble and pass in the game. Like Tim had the mechanics, looked great. And yeah. then the fight started. And then, yeah. and then that lasted three seconds. I don't, if his, if his man doesn't no, come in and Ramirez grab can't, Ramirez put his head down and was swinging like a girl. That's that's all that, so listen, what? Listen, what? Ramirez, it's luck. It doesn't matter. He's I feel like if Anderson's it. teammate didn't come in and grab Ramirez, yeah. Ramirez would have been put right in the dirt. Yeah, I agree. Ramirez I, slept him what are you blind. About? He got put in, in a because he got he got pulled by yeah. the other and just was flailing like this, and yeah. it just and connected. He's still connected. Then he's still okay, fucking the, knocked right, out. I think y'all, y'all are missing me and Roy's point. That was luck. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Listen, that was cool. it. Luck took him listen, down. Listen, that's all you need in a fight. Sometimes. Then luck. what happened on Anderson's two first punches? Those were, he just whiffed both times. You're calling the better fighter the guy that whiffed on the two punches he threw. Listen, the, man. Only put his head down. If that continued on, Tim is winning that fight. Fight. He's not going to it. Y'all talking about if. If, if, if he did this, if he, let's look at the tape. <laughs> Tim <laughs> Anderson, it happened. Tim Anderson missed both of the punches he threw and Ramirez com- connected on one of the two that he threw. Yeah. In this video, the if fight. If Nate Robinson could fight. Yeah. yeah. That wouldn't happen. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> That's, gonna drop. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. In this video, the yeah. first punch is thrown in 19 seconds. He's asleep at 21 seconds. You, you, Julian, can you find the other angle? In slow mo, he also wasn't asleep. He just fell down. He nah, got he, back up. He, he, yeah, he, didn't, he didn't put him to sleep. He I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna let y'all do that. He, he, he didn't put him to sleep. Down and you could see he right, knocked he was his ass in the back. He knocked slow-mo. him down though. No, it's it's a different angle. He yeah. knocked him down though. He buckled. He almost knocked the earring out that nigga. Ear. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> he shook. He, it was a good hit he, to the jaw. He almost knocked the earring out to Madison ear. I would be tight though if I saw this replay. You gotta be tight. the angle. You gotta be tight. Look, you call for it. Look. He did hit him. Oof. No, when uh-huh. you watch slow mo, he misses him every time. He did not touch That's him. They were good punches. He just missed him every yeah, time. Yeah, he missed them. They were Damn. solid punches. That was a weak ass punch. God, that second whiff was bad. Well, that's what that's is, what made him drop his left so Anderson, far because he missed. What is Tim Anderson batting on the year? It's not too great. He has because there might a, be a correlation here. Here you go. Here's a good slow mo. Isn't he um from Alabama to uh, Tim Anderson? 0.244. Point two four four. Yeah. Even off the whip, good <laughs> yeah, body movement uh, with a uh, below counter, average. and then yeah, it's just Ramirez that went. So 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 Tim Anderson can't, he can't hit fucking fight. He can't hit somebody on their jaw, and he can't hit a baseball. Ramirez, so he fucking, yeah, why are you mad at him he when he's won the one the that fight. won I'm that fight? I'm not mad at him. Tim Anderson whiffed two punches. Julian, with all due respect, you have never been in a fight. We're talking about a fight. fight that's on video, and you're arguing the guy that got slept is the because, winner. Well, Damaris wants the. <laughs> I the never said he was winning. I never said he was the Damaris winner. I just said y'all are over here talking like Ramirez is a fighter, and everything no, 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 you know no, you that nigga can't fight. You never, you never heard me say Ramirez is a fighter. I said he got the fight. I agree. I think it was a split decision. Now all I said, all I said was. Ramirez Did we can't go to the scorecard? We're taking it to the <laughs> No, Ramirez looks like he can't fight. That's all I said. But, That's cool. But, but he still got the hit. I would rather look like I can't fight like, and knock the nigga on their ass <laughs> yeah. than to look like I could yeah. fight and be the one that got knocked on my ass. The only part Ramirez said. threw, he was in a chokehold and not looking. Look, that's it. That's and one. Yeah. Well, that's just good baseball strength. Yeah. Like being able to fall and just flare your arm like that and knock down a pro athlete. Missed that. That's an, oh, that's an awful punch for Ramirez. What that one? Well, Ramirez took a he took Got a, that one. Ramirez took a page out of Beanie Siegel's book. You stay low, keep firing. <laughs> he had his head low and just was swinging up up high. That's all. That's all. 
That's all you got to do in a fight sometimes. Just keep your head low and just swing. And you, you're going to get lucky some nights. Tonight was... Eyes closed, just swing. That's it. <laughs> Baseball needs more of these. <laughs> oh, for sure. Baseball fights are, are great. Oh, I mean, it's they're, they're the best fights by far. Yeah. No, no like way. Hockey, hockey is the fight. No, nah, but like see? no pad. Baseball is just no pads. You're just yeah. out yeah, there. That's... It's the closest thing to a street fight. And like it takes mad, everybody mad long to get to you. You're prepared in <laughs> hockey that a fight's probably yeah, gonna happen every game. You're also on skates. Like it's different. I love to watch baseball players get aggressive with each other, and you see that decision where it's like, oh fuck. I love how now to, I have to fight. Because it's just one on one. I love how the umpire tried to break it up at first. And, he said, nah. and then once he seen Tim Anderson take his glove off, he was like, Well shit, y'all got it. Yeah, the, I'm kind of like with baseball. He kind of like dropped his arms, like, all right, oh. commence fight. Yeah, no, like, he, he did it up. like a, a hockey referee. He was yeah. like, go ahead. Yeah, it's like, that's what he's supposed to do. Like, all right, y'all want to fight? Go ahead. Y'all going to get kicked rock, out, but bro. go ahead. But this is why I respect baseball players. Because if you do that tough shit, you have to then fight. Yeah. yeah. Because football, there's so much equipment. You guys can do the push shit. Yeah. And if you punch a helmet, you look stupid. I never stupid. understood people punching helmets in football. That's that's the crazy shit in the world. Uh, soccer players we know are the biggest fucking divas on planet Earth. They're not going to fight. They're but just going to go, oh. Soccer fights get dangerous because the entire stands will start running on the field. And there's nothing that, <laughs> yeah. there's not enough police in, the, in those stadiums to stop yeah, if all crazy. those fans running. Way more field. dangerous off the field yeah. if you fuck up in soccer. Absolutely. And basketball players, it's stopped immediately. because Basketball players don't want to fight. They don't want to fight. Yeah, they don't. never they, want to fight. They're they, not even. They, they, they basketball players don't fight. They they talk a lot of shit and then they be deeming each other after the fight. What's uh, what's some of your favorite baseball fights? I think uh, Piazza and Clemens when he threw the bat at him might be one of my favorite. That was a great that was fight. a good one. Uh, I love when uh, what's my guy's name? Uh, the great the great pitcher from the Red Sox. Uh, Kurt Pedro Allen? Martinez. Pedro Martinez when he threw uh. He uh, threw the uh, the batting coach on the ground. Oh, that was great. Yeah, great. I mean, even as a Yankee fan, rest in, rest in peace. What was the batting coach? Uh, name? He was a legend. Yeah, uh, rest in peace to him. He, he died. If he passed away a few years ago, but and even as like, a Yankees fan, like I felt Pedro, I like did. Pedro handled that really well. Yeah, it was like, come on, man, like this old man, you can't run. Like why this is gonna go bad? You running up on me? <laughs> All right, now you got to go lay down on the uh, Don, uh, Don Zimmer. Don yeah. Zimmer, legend. rest in peace, Don Zimmer. Yeah. No, the Yankees and Red Sox have had some, some oh, good man. fights. Oh, man, classic. Yeah. Classic fights. Classic fights. Then, of course, there was another fight over the weekend. The only uh, actual booked fight. Yes. Well, the fight that was supposed to happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jake Paul and uh, Nate Diaz. Now, we got to start talking about Jake because, I, you know, everybody's rooting for Jake Paul to lose. They sit, feel like he's not a real fighter. He's a problem child. Um, they say he can't fight. You know, every, every fight going in, they're like, oh, Jake Paul's not a real boxer. Okay. That may be true. He's maybe not a real boxer, but I think it's time for people to stop saying that Jake Paul can't fight. Because he, I feel like that's been you can't say that for quite I, just some his time. last fight. People were saying like, "Oh, he caught him with one punch. He got lucky." They were saying that he can't. You know, that was just a and they were saying it, it was conspiracies that the fight was so they slowed down the video. They said Nate Paul kind of like turned his wrist to, to signal that he was about to throw the right hook, and the dude let him just hit him with the right. This is all kind of shit they was breaking down on the internet. When That's they're just trying to take credit away from Jake Paul's fighting ability. Well, if they have those type of cues, I mean, more. That's I don't amazing that they would know how to do that. Listen, you're not giving me a cue to let me let <laughs> you hit me with a right hook the way Jake Paul threw that shit. Like, there's no way I'm taking that on the chin unguarded. Well, I'm was not it doing Logan that. Paul or Jake Paul that fought Nate Robinson? No, it was Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Was Jake. Was and Jake you guys Paul. killed me for quite some time when I said it was mm. laughable that Nate Robinson was going to beat Jake Paul. Listen, I told I still, you guys laughed me out of the room. And I was like, he's going to whoop his fucking ass. No, Nate Robinson I, does not know how to box. I was not one of those people that laughed. I told people that Nate Robinson was going to get knocked the fuck out I just out didn't think it was going to be that bad. I told people that was going to happen. I don't I know why Nate took that fight. I wasn't saying Jake Paul is a professional boxer by any means, but yeah, someone no. that trains every day in the sport of boxing versus just an athlete, I'm going with the one that trains in boxing. <laughs> Listen, people could say that Jake Paul is not a boxer, he's not a real boxer, that this is just, you know, exhibitions, entertainment. I've seen enough videos of Jake Paul in the gym training and sparring to know that this is not somebody you want to just take lightly when you're jumping in the ring. Like, he can throw his hands. He has good footwork. Mm, he doesn't like Eden. He doesn't like Eden. That was Logan Paul. Yeah. Well, that was Logan. Logan well, I mean, like by affiliation. Well, yeah, he probably hates you, too. They're brothers. You know? um, but, yeah, this Nate Diaz fight. This, Maybe he thought he was fighting Eden. This fight should have been over in the first round. I see it. Uh, they should have stopped the fight. Nate Diaz looked crazy in the first the first minute of the fight. Yeah. Um, and obviously they end up uh going going. They went to the cards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And uh, Nate Diaz lost the fight. Yeah. yeah but I do like Nate last, Diaz's bro. attitude, though. They asked him after the fight, you know, what was he, what did he want to do? He was like, listen, man, I'll fight anybody. Yeah. They're going to do an MMA fight next, apparently. That's, I don't that's think, what I really now, see, about. Now, no, that's not now be this is where Jake Paul might be stepping into some shit yeah, that he don't yeah. want to. Nate Diaz might whoop his fucking ass. They, they, they might break, break his fucking leg. <laughs> they kind of agreed to it at the end. Uh, I think like a $10 million purse or something. And at the, I don't know if you guys saw it, but at the final bell, D- Diaz put him in a guillotine and held him there through the... <laughs> Yeah, through the bell. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it was hilarious. But no, I, I, don't, I don't think shit. I don't think Jake Jake Paul want to jump in that. Don't don't see the MMA thing because I said the same thing when uh it was Floyd and uh was it uh McGregor McGregor yeah I said you know Floyd should do now now he gave McGregor a boxing a boxing match then Floyd should jump into the it's not even like that's no it's that's, not it's no not. it's definitely uh, not yeah and of course there's probably exceptions to the rule but I feel like only MMA fighters can go box boxers can't go do no yeah, boxers can't, can't like, do that's MMA. Uh, it's a completely it's a, different it's sport. a whole different type of fight it's a whole different different tactics um and it's, it's just it's, it's it's yeah it's it's not. <laughs> You can get a broken a broken arm, broken leg, and that's Shit. Fair, yeah, that's fair game. And that like somebody being able to kick you in your leg and snap your leg is something I think that you don't want to you don't want to jump into that. Any room. sport where breaking your shin could actually lead to you winning is just a sport that I'm not into. Yeah, no, I'm cool. Love to watch it, and I respect them like you would not believe. But I, it's a terrifying sport. Yeah, no, nah, MMA. Uh, I, I I highly doubt that Jake Paul will, but I don't know. He loves money. And he's one of those white boys I think that'll do anything for money. And but just for the fun of it, too. I just think there'll be too many stipulations yeah, nothing and fun rules. about breaking your leg, though. That's Wait. just not fun. Breaking your nose in a boxing fight, that's, that's different. Breaking your leg. Mm-hmm. Snap, your fibula. Yeah, your, fi- what I've been your told. fibula. Yeah, that's fibula. where yeah. it Thank actually... I'd rather break my metacarpals. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> See? And oh, yeah. There you go, Roy. Yeah. Yes. Break your metacarpals. I fucking hate Reddit so much. <laughs> <laughs> Roy was in there. I saw Shots 20 think pieces of people like really thought I was serious about that. I was cracking up. I know my fibula is not in my hand. <laughs> this month, over here at New Roy and Mall, we're doing a special series of episodes to celebrate 50 years of hip hop. Maul, we wouldn't even be podcasting if it wasn't for hip hop. I don't know if we, we would be born without it. We wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for hip hop. So it's extremely important to us to sit and take some time to really celebrate and reflect what hip hop has done for us for the last 50 years. But we couldn't have done that without our friends over at eBay. eBay knows how important it is to be real, Rory. Yeah, Their authenticity guaranteed protects bias from fakes and gives them assurance that they're getting the real deal. Well, you know, I get paranoid every time I try to buy things on the internet because you never really know what you're going to buy. Thank God, though, anytime I'm looking for sneakers or watches, I can go to eBay and know I'm getting exactly what I'm purchasing on that screen. The real deal, not the Fugazi. Of course. I was nervous about buying sneakers online, but then I know eBay has an authenticity guarantee. Mm -hmm. Went to eBay, got my retro Jordan 1s, good to go. That's important. eBay, the details inspected, the fakes rejected. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. eBay authenticity guaranteed. Everyone deserves the real. Visit ebay.com for terms. Now to celebrate Hip Hop 50, here's a quick clip from our conversation with the legendary DJ Enough. What were some of the pros and cons of things switching from vinyl to Serato? Okay. So the vinyl thing was always special because if, if, if you don't know, before MP3s and MP4s and any kind of MP anything, we had to go to a thing called a record store. <laughs> right. And there was that's these things. Rest in peace. And there was these things called 12 inches. Yeah. And sometimes even 45, seven inches, right? Mm-hmm. Or 10 inches. And we would purchase the song that we want and we'd put it in a bag and we'd take it home with <laughs> us. <laughs> like a baby. Like that sounds you so dated, right? It, it sounds crazy. You got crazy. to hold it? That's sounds crazy. crazy. It sounds crazy. <laughs> hold so we actually got to hold it. Mm-hmm. How'd you and, get it on your iPhone? And, and, <laughs> and, the, and the crazy part, Rory, is that this is the part I miss. Okay, so for me, it was right on the back of the of the the vinyl, the production credits, absolutely, the art, absolutely, credits, whoever the label was signed to, the address, the label, everything, all the information you needed to know was right, right on the back of the re- record you just purchased. Mm-hmm. So now. Uh, shout out to my boy Lonnie B out of Virginia. He 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 he's part of my heavy hitter family, and he says, "Yo, this this new thing called Serato that's gonna change the game for DJs." I'm like, "What?" Mm-hmm. But prior to that, we went from vinyl to CDs, yeah, and then from CDs to Serato. Mm-hmm. So I I skipped a, a phase. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't miss carrying the vinyl, <laughs> mm-hmm. okay, yeah. because it, it was it was a problem, yeah. You know, 
I remember going overseas to Japan and all these places, and I would have four, three or four guys just to carry the binder. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know, four in the morning, those three, four guys are missing. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. they're either drunk. Yeah. Or they're with some shorty on the side somewhere. Right. Yeah. And now all my help that I had in <laughs> yeah. the beginning going into the function is gone. It's gone. Mm. Right. Have you ever had a situation where like all of your records, your vinyls were lost? Of course. Oh my. All right. I don't even want to. All right. That's I feel like every. Like, no, no, not all story. of them, but I'm going to tell you one. I was doing a summer jam. I forgot what year. And 50 Cent's performing on stage uh -huh. with uh, the G-Unit guys. This was the chair throwing year? That, that's it. So he had beef with Bangham Smurf at the time and yeah. Bangham Smurf mm -hmm. and, and uh, Lloyd Banks and 50, all of them, they're throwing chairs at each other. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Legendary. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, legendary. So my DJ setup is at the bottom of, this, of the stage at the set right. for, for some reason. And during the mayhem with the chairs and whatever, whatever, the, my table... The equipment and the records fall off the stage. Oh. So now we're talking about like. Mm. So I had to hit 50 with a bill, like, yo, my man. That's what <laughs> so, so I had to, I had to estimate in my mind what I thought my my records were worth. Right. Mm. You know, but that I lost all I lost all my vinyl like that. Uh was that crazier than any times DJing for big? No. <laughs> I'm gonna be in Virginia one time. I did a show with uh, Big. And a big fight bro broke out. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't the party and bullshit fake fight. Mm -hmm. It was the real deal. Mm -hmm. A big fight's going on. Pa, 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 pa. And what you guys don't seem to understand is a lot of times, like, Biggie's crew is his security. Mm -hmm. Biggie wasn't walking around with hired security. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that didn't come on probably till later on. Mm -hmm. But during the time of us doing uh, probably his first album, because... Mm -hmm. He passed away on a second, so yeah. we, you know it was only one album we got to perform. Mm -hmm. But it's his it's his childhood friends he's rolling with. That's his security. Right. It's seven of us on the road. Mm -hmm. It's D Rock. It might be C Gutter and C's and Kim. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect to the mafia, but all they they're 14, 15 yeah. years old. Yeah. Young, yeah. <laughs> the kids. Yeah. And they're like four feet tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So who's I mean, I mean they, they, they get busy, but yeah. what I'm saying yeah. is when Apparently, the, when, the fight, yeah. when the fights, when the fights are going bridge. on, yeah. who gets left all the time? The, the DJ. DJ. <laughs> so I'm fending for the turntables, the Finals. records, <laughs> my mixer. Because <laughs> back, because back in those days, I was lugging my turntables, the mixer, and the crates. Damn. So like me on on the flights, it was a problem. Yeah. Or you take a plane and you show up at a city, and then you. Your, your, lu your luggage don't come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick clip of our celebration of 50 years of hip hop sponsored by eBay. Subscribe and stay tuned to our YouTube for the full conversation. YouTube.com forward slash new Rory and mall. Now back to the episode. Something else over the weekend. I have a lot of shit going on. People were outside. Yeah, weekend, no, it was which a, is a, a good thing. I, I think it's been a while. It's funny because this is kind of like the last, this is the, I call this the victory lap of the summer. This is like the last. Mm, before four global weeks. warming kills it? Yeah, like the last four weeks of summer. Doesn't summer end September 22nd? Uh, maybe. Right, Probably technically, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I'm I like, I mean. It's just we have a whole month left. Yeah. Okay, RFK Jr. I don't oh, fucking know what it ends. Yeah. Um, well, I said four weeks. That's a month. Whatever. We're going to have an awful winter. This summer's been nuts. But anyways, besides that, uh, Kai threw the event of the summer, I guess. <laughs> uh, this was the real. This was the real summer jam right here. Yeah, this was the real rock the bells yeah, over the weekend. This, this was <laughs> shout out to Kai I Bronx yeah, legend. I love um, it. Here. Biggest, one of the biggest streamers in the world right now. The biggest. The biggest. Well, the biggest uh, streamer in the world right now. Um, Even if someone has bigger numbers than him, this proves that they don't. His reach is just not just the internet. That's what made me feel so cool about it. Yeah, because a lot of this streamer shit, people can't. It's not attached to like real human beings. You guys don't think you would have them outside like that? No. You don't yeah. I don't want to have them outside. Hug like around this. the block. Uh, but, yeah. but but shout out to Kai. Um, One man should not have all that power. Now, Kai. Sorry, right, Kanye. <laughs> Kai tried to do. A, he tried to do a good thing. He uh he 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 had a giveaway. Which uh, I he planned a giveaway to his uh some of his subscribers and followers and really cool. I on his streams and things like that. He was giving away some PS fives, some gift cards and things like that. I think Kai may have underestimated uh, the turnout originally. He was getting word as, you know, 
the event, the time came for the event that it was a lot of people at Union Square. So he started uh, posting saying, listen, if you're out there, be safe. You know, like, you know, we want this to be a, a beautiful uh, event, a beautiful uh, occasion. The opposite of what your president said when he brought him up. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it's just, it, you know, you can't have a bunch of kids in an area like this and think that they're going to be orderly and know how to act and conduct themselves. These are kids, downtown, midtown, middle of the day. Yeah. They're going to do kids. This is crazy. Yeah. Mobilizing uh, that many amount of Gen Zers is a, just a dangerous. It's a, it's a, it's a Gen Zers it's with also, phones that want to document all of it to yeah. see who could do the crazy. Yeah, they want to go viral. And who could out viral each other is yeah. the right. scariest fucking thing. In the world. It's yeah. also people who probably aren't even fans of Kai, but they knew that they're, that he bring them out. Right, like my friends are gonna yeah. be. out Oh no! It, it yeah. started with this core, and then plus ones told the plus ones, "Oh, yeah. they're gonna be out there." All right, oh. bet. And like Union Square at that, it's, it's just, just too many local train it's lines. Too many, it's too many. It's too many young kids that again want to go viral, want to do who can act the craziest, who can do the silliest shit. Um, everybody has a phone. Everybody's posting, trying to be seen. It just wasn't a good idea. Uh, it was good intention. Yeah, I think Kai's intentions were great, um, but I it think was a stupid ass move on his part. I mean, I, I'm conflicted because as someone that supports Kai and I love that I do too. Someone young like this is doing cool giveaways, has the power of getting the youth together, even if it is for some wild shit. But the taxpayer in me is very terrified of someone being able to do this I just, at any moment. I was stuck in traffic for an additional 45 minutes because of this stupid shit and I was on my way to dinner. I was furious. Well, that's because you refused to take the train. <laughs> Maybe like some days you should just take the, I, uh, I take the train here almost every day. I had six inch heels on and a bright pink Starburst colored dress. No one told you to do all that. Yeah. I was on my way to dinner. With who? Oh, Kai's fan who base would have loved you. Dinner with? You should have walked through Union Square. That's funny. Yeah. Those kids would love to see you walking through your skirt, six, six inch heels and a you try that in a Starburst star dress on. They would have okay. me up and passed me around. You're not that. Sweet. Does anyone want to blame some of these cars, the drivers of some of these cars? If what? I saw that large group no, of people caught- that age, I would never try to drive in the middle of it. Right. That's like, it's that's like saying if you get caught in a flash flood, it's your fault. These, these kids <laughs> came out of nowhere. Like they were, they were So driving. you're calling them a natural that's disaster? Very funny. Yeah. They were driving. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious, actually. <laughs> these kids are the day after tomorrow? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kai dropped yeah, Here the comes pin. Sandy. Kai dropped the pin. They pulled up. <laughs> that's funny. You wouldn't try to reroute if you saw, if you're, first of all, just driving through Union Square to begin with is yeah, a rookie horrible. move. Horrible. At any time of day. Yeah. But if you saw this going on, you would continually just drive your car into the middle you of it. You didn't know. I mean, I'm sure but, they got. But listen, we got to give we got to give these 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 drivers some credit because we've seen things like this happen, where people just start jumping on people's cars and shit like that, and motherfuckers hit the gas. I would yeah. hit the gas for sure. Yeah. Like we, so we got to give these drivers give these people some because he's just sitting in it. He's sitting in his car. They 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 dented his sunroof in. They dented his windshield, like cracked his windshield, and he's just sitting in the car. Like he could have easily hit the gas and said, "Listen, I was fearful for my life." Yeah, they were breaking my windshield while I'm in the car. Like they were on top of my car, jumping up and down. Like I thought they were trying to kill me. So this could have went really really bad. Yeah. Um. So Kyle was arrested, and uh, he's been charged with inciting a riot. How nervous um, do you think the Best Buy was in Union Square throughout this entire thing? Oh man, they're probably boarding up their windows. Yeah, absolutely. Close it. They definitely locked the store. All the sure. PS5s. But I, I, I Julian, why weren't you there to loot so we could get a TV for the lounge? Why would you send me to loot? I mean, because you live the closest to Union Square, and you have like a face that says he has a looting face now. Yeah, all you gotta do is turn That's the hat to the back no, that says looter. Like owns the store. You just riot in any sense, huh? Yeah, that what it is. That's what he does. He has you, a riot. You kind of look like hired Antifa looters. Yeah, I t- I keep trying to tell you you would have been you would have been <laughs> there. Um, <laughs> But I will say this though, as big as Kai Sinat is online, as 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 big as his following is, I think this just just adds to it. Did like that, being oh, arrested for oh, this shit. Is, yeah, nah, he's fine. a hero. This is, now. this is a look. This he's isn't a, a bad look sure. for Kai. This is a oh, he's great a martyr. Look. He is he's he a legend is, now. He's a god. Now he is a god for sure. Now he's gonna have murals of his face all over the walls. He's gonna have NFTs kids. of his oh, face all he's over a the fucking. He's a he's a legend, man. Shout out to Kai. But but um, did anyone get an Xbox? Excuse me? Did anyone get an Xbox? No, that whole thing is fine. <laughs> no, no, no. no. no <laughs> Did anyone get showed, some showed, streaming equipment? They showed the truck that had all of the, the PS5s in it and um, how they was like speeding to get away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, I mean, he had great intentions. I think Kai had great intentions on, on, on what he was doing. But um, he just didn't plan it. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't plan it well enough. And yeah, the cops, yeah, I don't think this was mildly not, not like 
on purpose at all? No, I don't think no, this was on purpose. No, 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 I don't no. think this was on purpose. No. I, I don't think it was on purpose, but I also don't think Kai was like, oh, damn. Like he didn't no, know. He's not <laughs> mad. He's not mad at what happened. Of course not. I think he genuinely don't want, doesn't, doesn't, didn't want anybody to get hurt or things yeah, like yeah. that. But I don't think that he's mad because again, like I said, this just adds to his following and his people who didn't know who he was know who he is now. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like one of those things, like it's unfortunate Local because dude. he really was trying to have a dope event and give away some PS5s. But um, yeah, but unfortunately, he be responsible of what he could cause, though. At the same time, he's which a is child, well, he right was, or not, well, he was arrested. Child, well, he was arrested for inciting a riot. So there you go. So he's he's he was arrested. Yeah. Again, he's not going to do any jail time or anything like that. He's no, probably going to pay a fine, right. which is okay. The stream. Who was he signed to? Which oh. streaming service? Uh, he's he on was Twitch. He was with Twitch, and then they sent him the wrong sneakers. Oh. So did he leave? No, I, no I think he's still with Twitch, but that's well, funny. I well, can remember seeing that. Though. Whatever streaming service yeah. he signed signed with, they're going to pick up this fine for sure. He also yeah. probably has the money to, to pick it no, up. No, he well. has the money to do it, but he's not going to pay. See, me. this is the type of riding I don't like. This gentleman that jumped on top of the car, right? You thought he was about to at least get light or just do something. Get light. Like, you that's can't just run up on the car, car, just stomp on it and ah, jump this, down. But this is what I'm saying. This at is, least give us some dance But moves. this is what I'm saying. This is why you have to give, you know. Showtime. You yeah, to, like, come on, some, give me something. No music. Yeah, but that's just, what he's doing is unnecessary and stupid. Now, if that driver decides right then and there to step on the gas. I think then he's in the car. And unfortunately, no, somebody's in killed. Somebody's in there. What do you mean nobody's in there? The oh, driver's sitting right there. You think the car just got there and he got out left? Shit. Yeah, he got terrified. No, they show, they show him when the car's pulling over and he's just shaking his head like, like, what the fuck are y'all doing? That was some dickhead shit to jump on. That's some super dickhead shit. But this is what I'm saying. So now if that driver hits the gas. <laughs> some super dickhead That was shit. funny, though. <laughs> nah, you're a dickhead. Like, I'd have been pissed. To just jump on someone's car like that. But that's some is, dickhead This is what I'm saying. They just, you know, and unfortunately, it's, this is all looked at as Kai's fault. D do you think he wanted them to do this? No, he didn't want them to do that. I think Kai knew it was no. going to be a lot of kids and it was going to be a little out of hand. He I don't knew it was going to be a lot of kids. And you, if you, of course he knew it was going to be a lot of kids. But he didn't think that they was going to start doing this type of yeah, shit. Yeah, but he like, should have still planned it out. I do appreciate you being consistent uh, when it comes to riots. Because you yeah. also said Trump had no idea that was about to happen, even though he told him to do it. Um, so I appreciate your consistency, at least. <laughs> See, he didn't tell him to riot. He never said that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry, Storm. Storm. He never said storm either. Storm in Union Square is hilarious. Flood. Did you guys see um, the world's most famous white woman starting with our beloved Jamie Foxx? That's the world's most famous white woman? She you is? have white women no. fucked up. She's you think Jennifer of Aniston? Of our, gener Jennifer Aniston. our generation? Of like y'all, especially of y'all generation? No, she's not. Who's the most popular white woman out of y'all generation? Who's more famous, Taylor Swift or Jen uh, Jennifer Aniston? Out of y'all, you didn't hear me talking? Out of me and generation? Taylor Swift are the no, same age. You said the world's most famous white woman. Okay, yeah. I, I back off of that. Barbara Streisand is the world's most famous white woman. I would say Katie Couric is more uh, popular. Barbara Did Streisand you just say is Barbara not the Streisand? world's most famous white woman. What are you talking? You just throwing out the wrong name. What's next, Dolly place. Parton? Yeah, like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Betty White. Y'all are telling me <laughs> Jennifer well, Aniston Arby, wasn't Arby. that white woman back in y'all day? What do you mean y'all day? Sort of. Your day especially. No, not in my day. No, she wasn't. She's popular, absolutely. She's, she's never not been like that. She wasn't girl, the most popular. She wasn't the most, you, she she wasn't the most like, popular in Friends. Y'all sound so. <laughs> nah, yes, she was. They sound so crazy. What? You talking about Friends was, was way girl. more popular. Jennifer oh. Aniston. At one point, they were calling Janice, Jennifer Aniston the most beautiful woman in the world. Like she won like Time and People and all whatever they. No, she's she's Damn, a bad white bitch. She's sure. cool, but she wasn't like the sh like the most popular. Yes. Okay. Megan. Megan. I'm not in there. White people would disagree with you. She's not more popular. Cameron Diaz was more popular. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, she was That's not. A fact. She's a white That's woman, right? Charlie's Angel. She's a Charlie's Angel. She's, She's Charlie's definitely Angel. more popular. Y'all got Jennifer Aniston. I don't like Jennifor Aniston. I have Drew Barrymore Aniston. was more. No, I can't stand her. Everyone in Charlie's Angel was more famous than Jennifer You Aniston. sound. Okay. Yeah, Lucy Y'all sound fucking insane. Like, y'all don't know Lou. the impact that Friends had on this. On Sounds like it had an impact to you. Not Joey was yeah. Joey was more popular than her on Friends. Okay. All right. What's the other? He got a spinoff. I get what you're saying, Damaris. Yes, Jennifer Anderson is very popular. She's a huge actress. They were uh, literally calling her the most beautiful she, white woman. I mean, the most beautiful woman in the world. For she you. she she's had she's had she had a run that was like iconic for sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Name That's top, all I'm top three uh, biggest Jennifer Anderson movies. Uh, <laughs> she's not even the lead in any of them. Heartbreak was it? Was that one? No, that's a different up. The breakup. She's a that's a different actress, white woman. Oh, but uh, she was supposed the break to be up. with Vince Vaughn. Yeah, the breakup. Yeah, she was supposed to be beautiful. That was she the was thing. like the fourth lead in that movie. She was no, in she Marley was and not, Me. Guys. She's on the cover of the fucking. What are you talking? She about? She had the least amount of lines. But you're fucking crazy. Oh, uh, she does a good job in We're the Millers. She did Along Came Polly. Along Came Polly. She is a supporting actor in all these movies. She does not lead a, one of these. She's a co-lead in We're the Millers. 
actress, but that does she not plays mean. a great girlfriend for oh, a you, leading man. You just I, sucked I, off the morning hey, show yo, last pod, hey. and now you're t- you're shitting on her. You said you love. You her. I love a lot of her movies. I'm saying she's never the star. She's always the leading man comedy's boyfriend. You also, smoked off it the in Horrible show. Bosses. Really? Oh yeah, Horrible Bosses. She's the That's fifth. The role. She's yeah. the fifth lead in Horrible Bosses. You didn't love. Where she the was at Millers? the bottom of the call sheet. You didn't love Where the Millers. I love all her movies. I'm just saying she's never a main role in them. She is a main role in the Leprechaun, Rory. That office was space, classic. Well, either way, she's the seventeenth role in Office Space. Well, e- well, either way, whichever role she had in her movie, she is a big actress, and she did have a run where she was very, very popular, and everybody honestly, obviously never knows popular. And, for the, her and the breakup it wasn't her talent. Also, she had a lot of points taken off her stat sheet once we found out in the breakup that really wasn't her ass. That was a different model. <gasps> Wait, Why do you know what that? What the fact? fuck? Because he jerked off to that scene a few times. And jerking off to that scene is. <laughs> Wait, I mean, what? <laughs> Porn is. Marley available. and Me is a classic. We're not going to do that. I Wait, you jerked off to Marley, Marley and Me, all right? <laughs> she played Marley? <laughs> Every movie up and here me? is great. She's just not. She didn't carry any of the movies. <laughs> she, she, was, she was the second to lead to the dog? To Marley and Me? <laughs> High key, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, You're so making the, this worse. So the dog third does. to the gold doodle? <laughs> yeah. Mar- Listen, that was a very, very, that was a touching movie, all right? It was, all right. But either way, uh, Jennifer Anderson. So Jamie Foxx, first of all, a guy that we were just praying for, didn't even know if we were going to have him around three weeks ago. Let me ask y'all a question. Could they do Mr. and Mrs. Smith if Jennifer Anderson and Brad Pitt didn't break up? No. Yeah. Of course not. No. Well, I mean, no, Jennifer Aniston. I didn't say I don't. I'm not saying she would have played in the well, movie. They, they could still did the movie. Wasn't that? They, but they wouldn't. Have, didn't they meet at the? At, they met at that movie. No, they was fucking by that time. Wait, they, no, they were they, together. They said they fell in love. Mr. and Mrs. Smith is yeah. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Yeah, and that was right after the Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt ah, breakup. And then that's that's when it's due to the Brangelina stuff. Mm. I've never seen Jennifer Aniston adopt an uh, African baby. You're I'm right. Angelina, or an Asian baby. You Jennifer, come on, bitch. You see where Brad at? <laughs> And this is why I, she loves Jennifer Aniston what? so much. Bar, uh, that was the Nikki bar. Yeah. yeah. Um, wait, but Brad Pitt's doing okay. What was Nikki trying to say? No, I'm Angelina. You're Jennifer. Come on, bitch. You see where Brad at? Oh, like, got you. Yeah. Oh, like he yeah, left yeah, you yeah. for yeah. me. Yes. Yeah. I'm the bad bitch. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got yeah. it. Oh, I can okay. bend bullets. Yeah, yeah. 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 I get, I get it. It's a good movie. That is a good movie. Uh, I mean, look at the difference. So Jamie, look at the role. Look at the role difference. Second to a dog. Jamie Fox tweeted. Um. He tweeted something the other day. Posted on Instagram. It was a, it was a story. Oh, he posted mm-hmm. on the story. Uh, Fresh off was uh, almost dying. Yeah, Look what we we're were just, doing. We were just praying for this dude, uh, just praying that he was okay and found out a few weeks ago that he was he was doing well. He was um, recovering and he posted a video letting everybody know, thank you for the prayers. Uh, thank you for the well wishes and you know letting us know that he was indeed doing better. Now, this weekend, um, he's apologizing for something that he posted. So he posted... Uh, he said, they killed this dude named Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? Fake friends, fake love. Now, th- this is something that we've all said. Like, they talk shit about Jesus. You know they'll talk shit about you. But apparently that's a black people thing. What, what, our, well, Jimmy Fox is a black man. No, I'm saying, right? but apparently, when you said we all say this... Let, well, let's let even if even if you never said it, you've heard me. you've heard people say it before. Not if you're like, they, they talk they, they talk shit about Jesus. They'll talk shit about you. They... Her, they, they crucify Jesus, they'll crucify you. We've been, this is something that we've been hearing forever. It's a black if so this when, is not when the Jay- biggest form of guilty conscience. No, listen, listen. So, so Jamie posted what that. What is it? Does a hurt dog bark or whatever the fuck? Exactly. So Jamie posted that. They killed this dude <laughs> named <dog> Jesus. <laughs> what do you think they'll do to you? Fake friends, fake love. The and, Jews being the hit dog in this scenario. And uh, and Jamie, when, that, when he posted that, I saw it, didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, okay, he must be Something's going on in his personal life. You followed Jamie Foxx on Instagram? <laughs> I've been following Jamie Foxx okay, on Instagram. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's wrong with following what? Jamie Foxx? It's just Fox a weird Instagram. follow. He's Jamie one of my Fox. favorite entertainers ever. It's just a weird follow. I don't know. Don't you follow okay. Tay Diggs? No. You follow uh, Tay Diggs? I'm about to say, now that's sick. Now that's sick. No, that was the next topic. Oh, yeah, we was going to parlay <laughs> right into that after this. Uh, <laughs> parlay into parlay. Yeah, we was going right into that. Right into it. I don't it. follow Tay Diggs. Uh, but yeah, so when Jamie posted it, I was like, okay, Jamie must be going through something in personal life. Friends, somebody probably did some shitty business move, undercut some of his money. Or that's he saw a meme it. and just screenshotted it and reposted it. Whatever. It could have meant nothing. D- didn't, didn't blink, didn't, uh, mm-hmm. nothing. Yeah. The next day, I didn't see uh, Jennifer Aniston had responded to it, mm-hmm. and because I think that she had liked the story or something like that, mm-hmm. and then she posted that 
This really makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. Which stop right there. Yeah, how do you not like Which, it? Which it's got to be one or, of them. Yeah, it's one or the other. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. So and more. Oh, so she's saying she didn't like it and it wasn't an accident. She didn't like it. She said she didn't like it and she got accused of liking it. I didn't like this post on purpose or by accident. How do you get accused of liking a post if they see that you liked it? Child. Well, you can't you can't see who likes the post. Well, there the public can. can't. Jamie I can think she it. might be accusing of. She yeah, might can. try to say somebody else runs her Instagram or something like that. Whatever. She's leaving. It's probably true on too. Yeah. Well, but, whatever it well, is. Well, cryptic. cryptic. It just doesn't make sense. What yeah, no. she did. Let's let's make this clear for our listeners that can't see this. What she did was screenshot um, a a a article uh-huh. that said actor Jamie Fox posts horrifically anti-Semitic message to his 16.7 million followers. So th- she screenshot that article mm-hmm. and then wrote that whatever Maul is reading above that. Mm-hmm. So oh, gosh, okay. that's like, it's even worse because it's, she could have just wrote a little story and wrote whatever she's saying. No, she wanted people to see all of her followers to, she basically told them that Jamie says something anti-Semitic and she doesn't support hate and this is disgusting and all of this and all of that. Yo, that was so unnecessary. I'll get it now. She's saying I did not yeah, like yeah. this post on purpose. And she doesn't oh, support oh. any form of anti-Semitism. That's the crazy. fact that this headline says horrifically anti-Semitic message. It, it, is this not the most guilty conscious shit ever? <laughs> He's not talking about Jewish people. This is this <laughs> is so then all the Jews were like, oh fuck, it's about us. Ah shit. <laughs> like I just hey. So you guys but, are admitting, in fact, that you killed Jesus Christ. I just, well, they, they? I can't believe that this is something that, first of all, the fact that Jamie apologized for this shit is just blowing my mind. Well, he's in Hollywood. I don't give a fuck where he's at. Nah, you got to do it. I don't care where he's at. He's Just Jamie Foxx. The fact that he apologized for it, like this is, this is, but, but see, this is, this, this leads to a lot of other conversations. It's like, well, let's have even when you're not, even when you didn't, I can't apologize for how you interpreted something. Like, that's not on me. You or interpret they, it the wrong way. I didn't. That's not what I said. I said they killed. There's nothing anti-Semitic about they killed Jesus. What is anti-Semitic okay, about If that? you guys feel guilty about you. killing the Lord and Savior, that's not, our, that's not on us. That's not on me. Or you're being anti-Semitic right now. I'm 3% uh, Jewish. Uh, and first of all, Jewish people did kill Jesus. Like, I, no, Jewish people I, did kill Jesus. Yeah, Roy caught 3% he of that. He was also I, I know that. So Judas killed Jesus. No. Right, no. Nobody. He betrayed He Jesus betrayed Jesus. I'm sorry. And the Jews allow Jesus. Jesus was also Jewish. It wasn't really yeah. Judas lined him up. It was Jew on yeah. Jew crime. It was an inside yes. job. It was definitely. Okay. So <laughs> what, from what I am it seeing It was their 9/11. <laughs> never forget. From what I am seeing <laughs> The cross most is just two towers. It's really Pontius Pilate. Sorry. <laughs> it was really the Romans. It's the twin tower one turn oh, yeah. sideways. And if you're into conspiracies, all Jewish people got a call that day and didn't show up to the Twin Towers. <laughs> That's an insane conspiracy. That is a wild conspiracy. Because yeah. mad Jewish people. Who got that there was a conspiracy book? that they were... <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know it's a real conspiracy? Yeah. There's that no all way. Jewish There's people no got... I swear to God. There's no that way. is a real conspiracy. There's no way. Sorry. Uh, but yes, the Jews <laughs> killed Jesus. This is just exposing yourself. No, this is Jennifer Aniston jumping out there, putting herself in the middle of some shit. Over nothing. She's not even that bad. Well, when you're that famous as a white woman, you feel like you need to speak for everybody. Yeah, but this is nothing to speak about. <laughs> He's like, R-M-O-K. He <laughs> Jamie Foxx said nothing wrong. He, he he didn't single out any particular group of people. He I see how it's perceived said, like that, though. He literally said, how do you see how it's perceived like that? Come on. That would never cross my mind as someone that grew up Catholic. He literally <laughs> hashtag fake friends, fake love. <laughs> yeah, but that's he's, just... He's obviously talking about people in his life, in his circle. Yeah, but it's just a disconnect of someone that's so, she's just, it's so, that culture to her has no meaning. So if she's interpreting it through her lens. Yeah, it goes back to what we I don't saying. think she's interpreting anything. No, I think somebody came to her and told her, you're, the fans, because there's screenshots of fans writing her like, you like this anti-Semitic post? And that's what she's responding to because she got called out. But, she liked the fucking post. But this there's is what I'm- There's nothing but, wrong but, about that post. There's nothing wrong. Uh, Jamie Foxx didn't talking say- talking about Jewish people. He didn't say anything wrong. No, he didn't say anything anti-Semitic. And the fact that he apologized for it, it's crazy. It's fucking insane to me. And he's like recovering from almost dying. But it's like what, look, what, look what he's wasting energy for. Like it's this Hollywood. shit is. 
It's not, yeah, but it doesn't. This is Jamie Foxx. This is one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. Yeah, Who gives he's a fuck? one of the biggest black actors in Hollywood. So it doesn't matter. He's one of the b- biggest matter, actors bro. in Hollywood. It black or not, matter. he's one it of the biggest matter. actors. It does matter. Bro. No, it does. I'm, what I'm saying is this it doesn't matter if he's black or if he's white in Hollywood. No. What I'm saying is the fact that this is Jamie Foxx, one of the biggest actors in the world, one of the most famous people in the world. He posted something that did not single out any particular group of people, any person, literally said fake friends, fake love, meaning this is about my circle and my friends around me. And somebody felt like this is an attack against Jewish people is fucking crazy. And the fact that he apologized for that is even crazy. Like, where the fuck? When are you going to have some fucking balls? Wait, you're saying Jamie Foxx doesn't have balls? He shouldn't apologize for that. There's no way Jamie Foxx should have fucking apologized Damn, for that. Are you okay, fucking Hollywood. kidding me? Okay, of course all right. He I, just, I, want, I, want, I want us all to like be realistic, right? Well, this yes. is what Drake Jamie felt Fox, like when he said Jamie Foxx. Jesus, Ramon. Jamie Foxx so. is not fucking stupid. So, okay. granted, what he did, there was nothing wrong with what he did. That's a that's a black saying, and we we black people say that regularly. And so, it's literally a part of our culture. We mean it as far as using it for betrayal. So, why did not he just say that? All the t- we say it all the t- we say it all the time. All right, who, who did the there article? is a. Who that? wrote the article? The the most horrific anti-Semitism to be posted. I don't know. There's probably some like that. pro-Israeli blog thing. I don't know. It's stupid, man. Like, cut it out. Everything, nobody's talking about Jewish people in that post. He was not talking about Jewish people. But that's why white people we all know that. black people business. I, we all know that. Look at how they word things. The most horrific anti-Semitism <laughs> comment. So what did they write when Kanye said he loved Hitler? <laughs> I hope like you can't just call saying, everything the most horrific anti-Semitic shit ever. And then, and then it's, but again, it's just the fact that he apologized for that shit. Because it's like, even when you're not saying nothing wrong now, you have to apologize. He's in Hollywood. Do you think Jamie Foxx wants to make another movie? Who do you fuck think making another movie? He almost died a few weeks ago. Who okay. gives a fuck about another movie? Obviously, he does because it's his career and his life. So I'm sure that man, he cares about his listen, career. Listen, fuck all that, man. Fuck all, that, man. Fuck give, all what that. He's put all of his energy into. Fuck all that. He's a legend already. He got a shitload of money. Who gives a fuck about making another he movie? He does. I, I, he shouldn't. When it comes to not doing nothing wrong, he didn't say anything wrong. Yes. So I, you're gonna be apologizing for shit when you're not even wrong now, just because you want to be in Hollywood? That happens all the time. Get the. And then that's my fucking point, Eden. That's my fucking point. When the fuck does it stop? He didn't say anything wrong and he still has to apologize for it? You think he'll go to- Because of Hollywood? He doesn't have to, but he chose to. You think he'll go to sensitivity training, go to the museum and then donate a bunch of money? Man, listen, dog. Jamie Foxx, I just hope that you in better health and your health is is right. Fuck Hollywood. Who gives a fuck about that? When we almost was was praying that Jamie Foxx wasn't dead three weeks ago. They accepted his apology. Yeah, but this shit is stupid, man. This shit is stupid, man. This shit is it's just enough is enough, man. You apologizing for shit that you didn't even do. You apologizing for something that you didn't even say. Like, what is that? I'm apologizing for something I did not say. They said we accept his apology and thank him for his clarification. So when he when you guys found out he meant nothing about Jewish people, you guys still accept his apology? No, or but you, they st- Or you should say, hey, we apologize to you, Jamie, of for a lot <laughs> of taking something I, you didn't say and telling the world you said it. A lot of what I saw was that they don't care that that's not what he meant because in their eyes, um, that that is creating racism and hate and bigotry against Jewish people, whether- he In their like eyes, that that's exactly my point. What, at what point do they say, hey, maybe sometimes our eyes are wrong? Ex- that's what I'm trying to say. Like they're wrong for the way I, they interpreted that. I agree Where is their apology to I Jamie Foxx? I agree with you. Jennifer Anderson also uh, removed commenting from her post because people were flooding. No, they were her. eating her ass up. People were flooding her. Uh, you know why they was eating up? Because she's wrong. Apologize. She deserves. No, everybody knows that she's. Yeah, so that's my point. Jamie Foxx don't need to apologize for that shit. He didn't do nothing wrong. And that's exactly what he. He could have just posted like, "Yo, what are y'all talking?" I didn't. That's he didn't. But to Eden's point. And I think Jamie Foxx's apology probably didn't come by way of, I would imagine he probably had a response similar to you. He has a team of people that are like, yo, this is a PR crisis. Clean it up. Throw an apology out there. Eat the L. Just Mm -hmm. fucking post this. And that's exactly what happened. Maul, we we ran into a little PR scare over a fucking co- a parody video or whatever. We even had to delete it. And like, you had thought nothing Ooh, was wrong with it. And guess what? That shit is still right gone. Now. 
Who, who had a PR skit? The fucking uh, the smoking I didn't have no weed PR with skit. the monkey pox skit. I didn't have no. I'm I'm saying, it optically, it wasn't we, a PR optically, skit for me. We removed the video. Thanks, thanks for bringing it back up. So they go find it. They should Start find it. It's on work. Facebook. It has over three million views. Go find it. It's hilarious. Yeah, Thank but you, you know why it was deleted? Do you know why I decided to delete that video? But I'm saying that was a PR scare from not even from our end, really. It was from his end. But, exactly. And but, me and me being the guy that I am, when he reached out to me and we had a conversation and he asked, I said, yo, you know what? For you, because I really fuck with you and I respect you. If you feel like this is some heat on you, I'll take it down. But that wasn't no PR scare for me. What the fuck you mean? Like, I wasn't. No, how was that a PR scare for me? Yeah, well, everyone already knows bashing homophobe. you guys for your homophobia <laughs> and monkeypox. That had nothing to do with homophobia because people would interpret it that way. That's on, and that's my point. You interpret it that way. That's not on me. The way you interpret something is not. I, I can't apologize for the way you interpret something that I say or I did. Well, we we walk through life. It, all we do is respond to other people's interpretation yeah. of us. Everything is an interpretation. Who? Life, you, we do not, you cannot walk through life and just deal in logics. It does not work like that. Okay, but if how you interpret something doesn't now mean I meant I have that. To, yeah, like, like, and I have to course. apologize for it. Of course. What are you talking about? I'm not apologizing for the There's way you lines, interpret something. Certain stuff, no, I'm not going to well, sit there just because you were dumb and interpreted something that I did not mean Yeah, like, get out of here. Now I'm going to apologize for something I didn't say. That I'm not. Could, I'm not living my life that way. But that could invite a conversation. So like, say in Jamie's case, the other route he could have gone is to respond directly and say, hey, in my culture, this, this means A, B, C, whatever. He could have explained it. That probably still wouldn't have made meant anything to them because nope. it's not a world that they understand. They're okay, not, they so you don't, don't understand. All right, so you don't understand my. So I have for, to apologize so for, to you for not understanding my world. Just I, I, I'm in the case. I'm in like the space of just get clean it up. out the yeah. way, clean, clean the up. shit up. Nah, see, I'm not in there. that space. I'm not apologizing so for something I did not do or did not say. By that logic, shouldn't uh, this Jewish community apologize to Jamie for not understanding his culture? No, they they because have, you're saying he needs to apologize for not understanding no, their culture. No, and they're not, and they're not, and that's my fucking point. No, they're not I'm, apologizing I'm not, to not Jamie for not understanding it. I'm not his excusing culture it at all. But I'm saying, but why also, should one side have to apologize well, for not understanding the their culture? When the other. Let's look at the hierarchy. Yeah, here. I, I feel one's like every, Jewish, one's we're all, black. We're all like just acting fucking stupid. Yeah, right let's now. look at the hierarchy of cultures that are are fucking receptacle and well received. No, no, no. you guys are saying we understand that allegedly. The Dominican there may be a lot of people in the Jewish community that run Hollywood, but that's even anti-Semitic to say. So don't even bait me and Maul into saying some anti-Semitic shit. You guys are the anti-Semites. With that said, I'm not about to apologize to y'all because you misinterpreted something. Yo, Completely it's, it's misinterpreted. Stupid, it's stupid that we're at a point where you have to apologize because somebody doesn't understand what you said. That we're happens, not missing y'all point. We know why he time. did it because That's he's in Hollywood insane. and it's we stupid. see what happens to people yeah. that say anti-Semitic things in Hollywood as opposed to a lot of other racist shit. One always gets canceled. Yeah. So we, we're not disagreeing in what you guys are saying. We're saying it's wrong. Oh, no, for sure. <laughs> like no. it's completely fucking wrong. For sure. And, and Jamie, Jamie should, if Jamie wanted to apologize, he should have said and explained in exactly what his intent was. And Jamie so they Fox, feel fucking stupid. Honestly, I don't even like the idea of explaining our, our, our culture and our sayings to other races because they're not going to understand it. So you like, you like the idea of apologizing though? No, I don't like the idea of apologizing. I don't like the fact that he apologized and I don't agree with the fact that he apologized, but I understand why he did. I don't. And that's how I, I'm that. So. I don't. Okay. But first of all, even explaining, all right, let's say that term is black culture, which I, I suppose... More we, it's, it's, it's a, I won't say the term is. I'm saying we say it a lot to talk about fake friends. But so do it's Christians in thing. general because it's yeah, in reference not... more to his disciples, his friends, the people he sat down and broke bread with. The whole point of the Last Supper is to prove that the people you invite to your table will betray you sometimes. Right. No, nowhere in that is like Jews. People do say, yes, the Jews killed Jesus. That's a thing. But when we say you'll be betrayed the way Jesus was, if Jesus was betrayed, all of us could be betrayed. All right. We all are not in debt to the Jewish community. We're not like, oh God, I hope the Jews don't betray us. So our what, friends. What I what is I read what it is when about. I was reading up on the history of why that saying was interpreted as anti-Semitic. When I was reading up on the history, a lot of anti-Jewish groups and Jew hate groups would use that as propaganda. The Jews killed Jesus. This is why you for, should hate. Okay, them. for sure. But can we also deal with facts and what that actually means? Not just in black culture, but the actual Bible. But I, but I'm talk I'm I understand that. But I'm just saying I'm giving you the backstory. This is why the Jews don't like it because mm. Jew hate groups use that particular saying and the fact that the Jews killed Jesus or however that went as anti-Jew propaganda. It is a dog whistle to them, so they are offended by it and they are 
they take it and they run with it. That's why they're so offended by it. I he didn't hashtag Christ killer. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Try that in a small town. He he hashtagged fake friends. This is what I'm saying, man. I have ever since the The more and more the marriage try to break the shit down, it's just like, but when does common sense come into play for people? But last last point. And how arrogant of Jewish people that you guys think you're the hashtag friends and you're the hashtag love. I just don't Jewish understand this now. shit. <laughs> I don't understand how anybody could see that with common that's, sense. That's real and arrogance. That, that, that Jamie Foxx was talking about Jewish people. I, I just don't, but they I don't, don't understand that. I don't that. think that they... Okay, so let me clear that up again. Y'all, I'm not standing up for them, but I just want everything to be clear. They know that Jamie Foxx was not talking about Jewish people. They are not saying that Jamie Foxx is anti-Semitic. They are saying that the saying is anti-Semitic and that no one should say it. Does that clear that up for you? They know that Jamie Foxx was not talking about Jewish So when did this when did this become anti because when, when the whole Kanye shit was happening and they was t- we were something we learned about all the things that they think is anti-Semitic, I this never came across my page. I never knew that this slogan was a slogan that anti-Semites use. Well, you don't you don't follow anti-Semites. No, but I'm saying we would during that time you had no strong. choice but to read up on everything that was going on. I never saw this as one of the slogans that they think are an attack against Jewish people. Never saw that. I'll even shoot them bail if he didn't hashtag fake friend or fake love. Then I'd maybe have some understanding where you could take this as, a, even though I don't, I could see it. All right, let's just go to voicemails, guys. This is getting uh, fine. It's getting fine. a little uh, scary. Whatever. A little racy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's not real. Okay. Let's see what you did you know. there. <laughs> Yo, this is Dave. <laughs> From Vancouver, Canada. I uh, just want to shout out the whole pod. Sorry. Uh, hey, man. Damaris, uh, Julian, Hello. Yomi. You know, I've been following uh, Roy Miles since the old days. So shout out to y'all. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. Um, my question basically is, how do you avoid posting your homies? Anti-Semitism? Trash music. <laughs> oh. Um. You know, he hit me up on DM saying, "Yo, it's uh, tough because I sit next to you. How you doing? Wow. Has to be you're like, he's a real, he's a good friend of mine. You know, we, we used to work together and stuff. But he, and he's an up and coming rapper. And honestly, the song that he sent me was kind of ass. So I wasn't trying to like post it anywhere, thinking and making everyone think that like I have trash taste in music. And obviously, I still want to support the guy. Like, and when I do, no, you I don't. Post it, this one not <laughs> yeah. it. So how would I like?" avoid posting you know because he kind of expects me to because i've been doing it before all right peace well, well that's that's where you made the mistake well, yeah, jay, posted- jay that's where you fucked up at you was never supposed to post any of his music if you thought it was trash and if you're a real friend i think you could tell your friend his music is trash yeah like i want to post it but i don't think you're there yet and not to say my post means much but i just yeah, I don't, don't want to post, post music that i think needle. is up yep. to par. Yeah, my post may not move the needle on your streams and downloads. Like not all of them are going to be hits though. So maybe one of them was good, and then now this next one was pretty. Well, then that's what I'm saying. If it's your boy, you can tell him that. Or you could do the Demaris approach and just deactivate your account. Mm-hmm. Like, that too. I'm off the grid, man. Sorry. I've done that one. Yeah, but then when right, you're back on the grid, he's gonna be like, "You, that's fucking that record great. is still out. <laughs> <laughs> Song is still on SoundCloud. Yeah, <laughs> available on all streaming Let your platforms. following know. Like I, I, I think that is. Because I go through this a lot. Yeah. Like I have, you know, people that I know personally. They name them. They send music. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and um, and I'm like, uh, I I listen to the record. And I'm just like, that ain't it though. And you know, they ask like, yo, what's up with that? And I sometimes I just have to tell them like, yo, bro, I, honestly, I don't think that that's that's not dope enough to post that. And what do they usually say after that? They're no, but I, I I say it in a way where I'm like, I give construction credit. I'm like, yo, listen. The, the first verse was cool. The hook was kind of eh. The beat wasn't good. It's not mixed well. Like, I, I give actual criticism on the... I'm not trying to just shit on your dreams. But I'm like, yo, you. that's not what you want to... So are you saying Rory took that pretty well? <laughs> when? Oh, yeah, funny. he took that very that well. Good. He took that very Wait, well. Remember when Rory sent you his projects and you didn't... <laughs> yeah. that's a, that's for a, the first two years of the project? A, that's a lie. I sent it to you when we were in your sprinter. That's a lie. So many listen, speakers around us. That's a lie. That I listened to that album that night... <laughs> <laughs> but but see the thing with Rory is he is, he was changed he was adding more songs so I'm like uh-huh. yo don't send me it when it's like four five six songs send me the when it's done but I wanted done to now. see like to help you know you could help me guide no but my I way told you in the job told and I said oh, yo Rory this shit sounds great I told him that when I heard the first five records I was like this shit sounds great 
it wasn't that I wasn't I wasn't jamming to it every day. And you still didn't. Oh, so no replay party. value. <laughs> no, it had replay value. I still listen, I listen to it now. But I'm just saying, like Last back time. then, it wasn't done. It was just like an idea show. He had a few records, and I was yeah. like, no, this shit sounds good so far. Yeah, for sure. Name three songs off the album. Oh my god, yes. I'm terrible. You know I'm terrible with title. I don't know. <laughs> All right, give I me the numbers. I can't name. I can't name I'm three bad songs with off, of, off of Biggie's album. Like I can't. <laughs> I, give me an artist. Give me a subject. Something about the song. Three artists. Oh, no, Ball really? just, yeah. just told no, me. I know. Ball just told me who couldn't name Juicy. No, no, no. So now I don't even know Biggie. Songs. No, no, no. I don't. I know. I know. Um, my phone can die. Okay. All right. Single. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, uh sober thoughts at the, from the Mondrian. Okay. That's because you were there. Uh, I know. Um, I know. Uh, what's my, what's my shit with um J Elect and um the other single. Uh, Reggie. Reggie. What's the name of that? I don't know. The, I forgot the name of that shit. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> see how see how this goes. Oh, you've had enough. Yeah, is that's that how a different it goes? record? That's with Conway. That's on there. Oh, that's with Conway. Yeah. See, I know a couple of the titles, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, that's what I know. We have that guy as a guest. Who in the hip hop fifty thing? That's the name of the song. We have him as a guest. For the hip hop fifty. Uh, the first guest. First episode. First episode. DJ. Enough. There we I go. I was gonna say. Hey. The name is not. Uh, it's not called Clark Kent. It was only <laughs> no. enough. Was the only one left. <laughs> Enough. Okay. Enough was the song with, with Reggie and Reggie Jay. And Jay. Like, Enough. Okay, yeah. got it. See, but I'll listen to the album. See, it's more of a groove, Rory. I don't no, care. No, what the cool. name. Yeah, no, I'm I don't, I don't care what the name of the title yeah, is. You, you just can't put play a title and let it run. Honestly, yeah, you can't put a title on this thing. It's yeah. refreshing. You didn't yeah, even know it's individual tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was one long gotta, song. You gotta yeah. just let it run. You can't because nah, cool. when you put a title on things, it makes things complicated. It's true. You know, know, but for sure, Rory, you definitely do have an album that's like a listening experience. So you put it on and you just let it rock. See, when Drake said titles ruin everything, I thought it I thought it rose out. That's true. Yeah, that's what I said, see, Rory shouldn't have put no titles on Rory. Yeah, he shouldn't have put no titles on these songs. Rory's album ruined everything yeah it's this one article that keeps keeps putting out like best songs of the year so far and like every time they update it rory will like retweet it and be like yo like hmm question mark oh no it's not that no it's rolling stone it's complex there's been a few like yeah put a name on that bullet the top 100 yeah the rolling stone one i didn't care too much yeah it's just the rolling stone but when complex put out their best albums of 2023 so far i i felt the way because they they just leave me off every list. Yeah, so why would you feel away? You should be like, oh, that's right on par. Well, that's what I retweeted. I said, well, I mean, you guys left me off the last list, so yeah, it's consistent. Mm. It's just so good. The, I, the city girls were on there. <laughs> you gotta let that shit go. <laughs> Yo, let it go. Carisha is just smoking me in complex right now. Mm -hmm. I don't but, know, man. Didi Osama's album was definitely better than your album. Not one album on that list was better than Rory's album, and I'm not saying that because mm. we're coworkers. Like, I, I'll be honest. Period. I, I don't know if it was arrogance, but I did feel a, a little bit of a way for the complex one because there's no reason why my album should not be on the top 30 albums of 2023 so far. Yeah. Like you can't give me a real reason. At it has complex. the names you need. It charted it uh, actual quality of music. I know that's at the bottom of the list, but still sort of important. Mm -hmm. It has the checklist of the shit. You, it's niche and cool with one crowd, but the other people know it like. I hit every box you need to hit to get a fucking complex list. Yeah, complex, what the fuck? I feel like you would hit like a... Oh, no, I know why I'm not on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Vice, that's corny. A vice list. Which guy's Maybe. girl did you fuck over at complex? Like, See, I'm just different when it comes it to was shit like e. this. I don't give a fuck about any of these lists. Because you don't have Sometimes he acted like an album. Oh. Even if I had an album, I wouldn't give a fuck. Ice Spice's album is number two. That's insane. That's why I wouldn't give a fuck. That's Ice Spice, but still. <laughs> See what I'm not, saying? You don't think she deserves that? She's a Bronx like, legend. First second of all. best so I think, project I think of she the deserves year. anything she she, she for, achieves. For, like sheer popularity. Yeah. Well, I, I had no I, issue with Tyler and Ice Spice being one and two. No, Tyler makes sense. I would love to see the yeah. What are the what's the uh, criteria? Because if it is a popularity contest, then yeah, of course she. Complex's criteria is always the shittiest criteria. <laughs> deserves to be on here, but. Yeah, it's just uh, so the guy who called, who originally started this conversation, Jay. Jay oh yeah, you um, just post your friends. This is what you got to do: get in the car, play the hottest part of the song, learn it, sing it, make a fifteen second story, say, "Yo, my boy, shit is fire." Don't tag. Well, tag him. Don't tag the song. That's all you got to do. Not a bad strategy. That's what LeBron does. Nobody's cl clicking on your fucking story to go find that fucking song. So I've yeah. had to like try to, or just tell that. your boy that the song is whack. I mean, you could do that, but so, uh, pe people, artists be sensitive about that shit. Artists, they are. It's your boy, though. Not artists. It's your homeboy. His boy is an artist. Yeah, but that's my boy first, though. Before he's an artist, that's my homeboy. I can, you can keep it real with your homeboys. Like, yo, fam, that ain't it. Okay. That's all. I've definitely gotten, like, kind of jammed up in a conversation with a friend that makes music that asked me to share something. I was like, I don't know, man. My listeners don't really, like, 
they probably wouldn't like that type of stuff. Yeah, then, he start, then he started inquiring That's sick. of like why. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I, they have a good palate. <laughs> yeah, they have taste. Damn right. <laughs> That's what it is sometimes though. Like I'm not, that's why I don't, the whole list thing, it doesn't matter because this is somebody who just probably doesn't have that type of taste, which is fine. And I, no, I really did explain to him, like if I post this outside of what I think of the quality, like this type of music, the listeners that you think will gravitate to it because I have a following are going to know that that was a post mm -hmm. that I didn't particularly like. I just did it for someone else. Mm -hmm. Like our listeners are not stupid, especially when it comes to music. They know if we're posting something because someone asked us to, or mm -hmm. if we like it. Yeah, for like sure. they're they've been around. They can tell for quite some time. They, they know they so know like, what, they would, know what we like. It'd be a waste if anything they're gonna say a mean comment yeah. <laughs> to you and keep it moving. Yeah. What we got next, Julian? Uh, let's go back to some relationship advice. All right. What's up, y'all? Um, name is Jay from Yonkers. Uh, big fan of the pod. Big fan of everything y'all been doing. And um, I got a question for Julian, but I feel like a lot of y'all can just chime in. Um, me and my shorty been together like six years. And when COVID hit, we wound up living together actually for like about a year. And after that, she been extra, extra clingy. Like really, I want to be up under you being your skin type shit. And I, and I hate that type of shit. Hey, so man. I've been really dialing in with like getting these raps off and like like actually focusing on like pursuing music as a career and conveniently she just loves to chime in or call me and ask me about my day during those moments and I'm so I guess my issue really is what is a more palatable way of saying like hey yo dog I'm trying to get these raps off and you kind of stand in the way that <laughs> now I love you. <laughs> but she she can be she, it's like she got a sixth sense for when I'm like relaxing and, and getting into a zone. Mm. So I would appreciate any and all feedback. And once again, I appreciate everything y'all do and big fan of the pod. Yo. Yeah, I think you trash and she know that. Yo, why, why Yo. Are you these yeah. are kind of tied together, these last two boys, man. He do not like his girlfriend. <laughs> Yo, you keep calling me. I'm trying to get these raps off. Like, I'm writing. What? what so we, they've been together for six years. You know what's he's probably years. funny? He probably don't even rap. I mean, he, he don't rap. <laughs> he's just trying to find a way to get away from it. Yeah, yeah, he's just trying to go to the studio and just like be away from this girl. There's no way you, you mad at your girl for calling you because you're trying to get these raps off. That'd be annoying sometimes. He says she's really clingy and he doesn't like the fact that she's Jay, really clingy. Listen, two things can be true. You may want to go be a rapper and take music seriously, but let's call a spade a spade. You want to get away from this girl by yeah. any means necessary. Yeah. And it's not because you want to be a rapper. That could be true. No. But that's not the reason you want to get away from. Yeah, you want to be a rapper. You want to you want to write some bars and 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 lay some songs down. But you also don't want her as your girlfriend. So or, just hey, put it in the music, Jay. If you're that committed, <laughs> don't listen to Rory. Don't put that in. Nah, your music. you nobody wants to hear that shit in rap. No, he could play it for her though. Like mm. just like an exclusive. Maybe he That'll speaks never better. Come out? Yeah, and like could just play it for her. Like yo, leave me alone. Oh, he could give her like an audio hug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, audio, audio hug. <laughs> No, audio exit. <laughs> yeah, 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 audio breakup. <laughs> like, yo, I'm not feeling you no more. They go to the door. Some shit like that. Like, yeah. Some shit like That's that. So you gotta well, go I, mean, with I think it seems like she's wanting more attention than he's willing to give. So in that case, it just doesn't seem like they're a right fit, like compatibly in terms of like their love languages. I think that if you if you have a girlfriend and you, you know, you're taking time to write any or oh, anything creative. If you're a creator and you're in a relationship. And, you know, you want you need time to create whatever it is that you do. I think that you have that conversation. So she knows, listen, this time of the day, this is when I'm writing. This is when I'm painting. This is whatever it is that you do. I need to be cheating. left alone. Cheating. Yeah. I need to be left alone. Give me three, four, five hours to just focus on this. But yeah. she knows that. She, that nigga, I'm telling y'all that nigga can't rap. She don't <laughs> care. She don't take his shit. What does she need to say that? She need I, to say that instead of blowing his phone up. I don't want to go against my gender here, but I really feel like Jay's gassing this and she's probably just doing regular girlfriend shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure she's not even that extra. For sure. 
No, but it's, it, it feels, it's the way he's he's wording it. Like she just want to be under my skin. Like, I'm like damn, nah, nah, but it feels. It, I think she's probably just being a girlfriend. I, it feels yeah. extra when you don't like her. But yeah, yeah. that's the issue. Yeah. Like yeah. when that phone ring, you're like, oh, this. No, bitch. that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. She's not doing she, anything extra. Oh she called, it's the first time she called <laughs> in three saying. hours. Like she calling once every three hours. Like that's not like yeah, nagging. Just starting right. It's a lot. Once every three hours. Call every three hours. Get the fuck. Yeah, every three hours is crazy, dude. Is it? That's normal yeah. for you. Once every, once three, every hours, three hours. Once every three hours. I didn't think. Well, I didn't think your girl calling you once every three hours is crazy. That's crazy. Wait, I think your girl calling you like on a weekday. Like, like I think your girl calling you every hour is crazy. Oh no, yeah. that's insane. Three hours is a lot. No, if I'm at work, every six hours would be weird at that point. Text yeah. Me. Oh yeah, well text. Yeah, same shit to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll you say call, call twice call in text. a work day. Like that's why. But even not call text. If she texts you every three hours, that's fine. The text is fine. But that's what I mean. I'm not. When I say call, I'm not mean text all day. No, but I can't reply as quick when I'm working. But yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. When I say call, your girlfriend texts you all day. The new call is text. Call you, man. The new call is text to me. Like it's like hitting your phone. Same shit. Yeah, but okay, you, if you're uh, getting upset at your girl texting you every three hours, yeah, <laughs> you don't kinda, like her. That's crazy. Yeah, you don't. Like he it. don't. He Does don't she want to go to the studio with him? Like, what is like what is she, she doing to block your creative process? Back to Damaris's point. <laughs> what do you want to eat? She want to go to the studio with him. She probably texting yo. What do you want to eat? He don't have a studio yet. It's probably like damn. <laughs> damn he, for he booking Thompson with it's like a Scarlet. <laughs> nah, he like, might have. He might have. You know, he might have booked it out for the day for the week. He's trying to cheat. He might have blocked it out. You could cheat at the studio. <laughs> yes, yeah, lock it in the closet. Yeah. Boy. Y'all have y'all fucked in a studio before? Yes. No. Nah. I mean, no. Never done that. <laughs> no, I really haven't. <laughs> I've definitely fucked in a studio before. One hundred percent. Of course, right. Julian. Has. Yeah. Come on. Look at him. Come on. You're not a rapper. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't fuck in a studio. He be laying down that dick, right, Julian? Yo, what's up with <laughs> you, fam? You all right? I can't say that? No. I mean, it's weird, because before we had our studio at in Britney's backyard, I was paying for studio time. Like, I'll, I'll go pay to fuck later. Like, I'm here to work. Yeah. I'm not doing that. And now, the studio, now that I don't have to pay for, I'm not fucking at Britney's house. It's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Well, yeah, if it's not somebody's <laughs> house. <laughs> like, she has a child. Yeah. <laughs> it's a baby like a, upstairs. There's an infant. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, but, just dump that girl, man. Yeah, dump her. Leave her. That's it. Yeah, six years. It seems like you gave it a fair shake. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> do we have one more? Yeah, we do. What? Yeah, Jay just wants to leave that girl. So I didn't say nothing. I'm just looking at you. Oh, I don't like they that. They knew Julian was going to tell him to leave her. That's why he actually I don't. Yeah, we all were. No, that's what I'm hung up on is why did he come to me? Like, I've never been in a relationship this for six years. This is funny. You know, I, I have a good follow-up question. I don't question. rap. We're talking about putting people on and music and this and that, right? I have a good follow-up for him. Mm, okay. That we could play on Patreon if, if he takes this request. Yeah. Send us a track. Freestyle <laughs> on your next response so we can see if you're even up to par to leave your girl right yeah, now. Yeah, but not all Because what if his freestyle. girl has a really good job? Like, what, we don't want him to make a mistake and leave a girl that could potentially help him in his life if his lyrics aren't up to par yet. But they all can't freestyle. You know that. Not, I'm not saying off the dome. Go send write something now. Send us a song. That's, that's what just freestyling means writing now. Let's be oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. I don't know. No, I don't want him. I don't want to hear anyone freestyle. <laughs> yeah, freestyle I don't care if you're fucking no Eminem. You want a hot I don't want anyone to freestyle. You don't want to hear no, no free bars? No. Come on. Name one person you'd want to hear freestyle. Um, Freestyle? Freestyle. Riff Raff. Uh, Actually, yeah. It's Eminem. Eminem. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. We didn't talk know. about the Eminem uh, <laughs> verse, by the way. What Eminem verse? You guys didn't hear the Eminem verse? That there was an Eminem yeah. verse. Oh god, no! You heard Eminem verse? Eminem just put out a new verse. Yeah. On what? On um, I forgot the gentleman's name. It's it's Shady's new artist. He's like oh okay. He's yes, like yes, Eminem yes. meets Chris Brown. Like he does TikTok dances, but he also raps like. But he also does it at the same. Like he'll do TikToks while I saw a post. Huh? I was just showing you what he did. He just you know he does this. What does he do? He just like like. Easy Mills. There you go. You know he's actually he sounds pretty talented. I'm, I'm not trying to shit on him. <laughs> yeah, here you are. No, I just can't. Yeah, here no, you talented. are in need of a baby wipe. <laughs> I love this uh, Fader article topic. It says Eminem this is the game. Melly Mel and Gen Z on Easy Mills realist. Why Melly Mel got astray? Melly Mel's been t- talking shit about Eminem. Yeah, he's oh, really. <laughs> Melly Mel's been going at M for a while. Like Grandmaster Melly Mel. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. I mean, yeah, you guys got to go do do the science. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah. Um, he like replied it. to game apparently I didn't really think it was directed right at game I thought it was a couple people but he said the only uh, only reason they still play your shit in the club is because you're still performing in them okay funny makes sense interesting but M was never really played in the club ever not really I've never 
And like, I want to hear game in the club, even if he's not performing. In my eight to 10 years of DJing, I've never dropped Eminem. I don't know. It's, it's not a bad Eminem. It's an Eminem verse. Like, you know the cadence he has. Yeah. He addresses the haters. I just feel like he needs to pull back. I totally understood when he did the murdering music or whatever the fuck it was. Mm -hmm. It's not something I go back to, but I fully understood it. Like, I've been a legend forever. Now hip hop completely turned on me. Let me just kill everybody. Mm -hmm. Lyrically. Mm -hmm. I understood it. Yeah, that, now it's now he's dragging it a bit. Like go back to just rapping about like your shit. I don't think that the, it's, it's he's he's dragging this everyone hates me thing a little too far. People don't. I think I think what it is is people have been very vocal about Eminem over the past few years and how they always felt like he's overrated. Mm. Uh, he doesn't really make good music. Yes, he can rap. Um, and I I don't think I think anybody that says Eminem can't rap is just. Julie. Talking shit. No, I'm not. But he no, he, he he can rap. I just think that people over the years have felt like his content, his song making, um, corny. It doesn't have. They feel like it doesn't have much replay value. They don't. Anyway. They don't play it themselves. Uh, I just think that for people to say Eminem can't rap is that's just a stretch. That's crazy to me because he can absolutely rap. But I understand you know, if somebody doesn't like Eminem's albums or his songs, like I can understand that. That's. It's other artists that are just as dope as M that people don't like as well. But I think M feels like there's been an just it seems like a lot of people have been saying it lately. Like, yo, Eminem's music is trash. And I think that he's just finding a way to respond to that. People have been in interviews from the rap culture, former artists, uh, like I said, Melly Mel, who have expressed that they never thought Eminem was Game. dope. Game did that weird shit too. Like I, yeah. I thought Game doing that real some shady disc was weird for like that twelve minute song mm -hmm. reason. Mm -hmm. Game does does Game do, do anything? That's Which is weird. we we like Game because Game does just go out and legend diss anyone when he feels like it. I just thought we didn't need a twelve minute Eminem diss at that point. I don't need a twelve minute anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't need twelve minutes of a song from any artist. I don't give a fuck what it is. What about twelve minutes of hat? I mean, if it's good, that's a really long time to last. Yeah, is it? Yeah, that's a long time. I'm not a champion like you. Twelve minutes of head. I'm just, I'm just a mere mortal. What type of head, though? Sloppy toppy. Like gawk, gawk. Yeah. Twelve minutes. Yeah. That's a long. Nah, time. That's a lot. You guys know how long twelve minutes? Yeah, you're not, that's a long time. time. Dude. You're not yeah. sitting through twelve minutes of great. That should head. be built through Showtime or something. <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> that's a fucking event. That's a game of bad gaming. Yeah. Should break that up into episodes. Yeah. That's a that's an HBO series. <laughs> Anyways. I may have gotten close to getting head for 12 minutes, but I definitely can't. Like, I'm sure we all have it. I feel like point. your dick would be like just like raw at that point. Like prunes. Like, like pr yeah, like shit. it's like you nah, just soaked man. it in water for 20 minutes. This one was a warrior. You hear me? <laughs> Who are we? What are we? Head should feel like pussy. If you could fuck she the 12 minutes. She was a warrior. Thing, you should be able should to get head, head for like 20 pussy? minutes. Oh, that's the best head. If you can't tell if it's in a mouth or a pussy. What? You gotta look. <laughs> Hold you gotta on. Look, Wait, are the what? lights off? You gotta look yeah. under the blanket. Like, how dark? Do you have, yeah. You gotta look under the blanket. Like, which hole is that? <laughs> <laughs> they both what? warm and wet. What type Listen. of blackout curtains do you have? Yeah. yeah. Man, sometimes you gotta look. Like, God damn, I can't tell. It's, yeah. You always get head under the covers? No. Oh. <laughs> Yo, nah. You're not hotboxing me with no head, bro. Yeah, I've got, I've got, yeah, every guy's gotten head under the covers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I was like a kid. Uh, what? I mean, like, as an adult, kid. you never got head under the blanket? Maybe it's when not, I was sharing I don't really a, a enjoy college it dorm room. No. When I was sharing a college dorm room, yeah. Yeah. No, but sometimes if you, you sleep, like, she might just crawl up. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, it starts yeah, out yeah, that yeah, way, yeah, and then yeah. I move the covers. Yeah, I'm not. You, I'm not, you, you wanted the motion pictures. You like the, of course, yeah, of course like, I like to watch. Well, I yeah. thought one Turn of the, the most. On. I thought one of the most turning like things that turned men on about head was the visual. It is, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, for me, it's the, yeah, it's all yeah. it's entirely the, the sounds, yeah. eye contact. Yeah, the blonde hair for you, pulling the blonde hair. That's yeah, really definitely yeah. pulling the blonde Oof. hair. Yeah, yeah. When she says the n word. Yeah, when her black face smears on my groin. And she goes, "Oh, it's just my mascara." Her black face smears on my groin. <laughs> when you're, when yeah. you're on your, your platoon boat in yeah. fucking Alabama. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> did we answer this gentleman's question? Um, I, the fucking I forgot what the question was. We start talking about Eminem. The, the, the answer. Y'all <laughs> didn't know Eminem came out. We start talking about the Eminem, answer, Melly Mel. The answer was <laughs> dump her. That's it. <laughs> oh, my Eminem God. Just Listen, leave her. Uh, you don't like her. You oh, the like rapper. This. The rapper guy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just break up with her. Yeah, you don't like this woman. You don't like her. That's it. She's fucking yeah. with your creativity. Yeah. yeah. Send us a song. If you like her, she adds to the creativity. Word. Mm. Uh, if you liked her, you would rap about her. I don't know. Also, if you don't like her, yeah, you matter rap fact, about her too. Let's give him a challenge. Okay. He should, he, not a freestyle. He should write a verse and reply 
about the situation and give us more detail. Yeah. Because we keep asking people for more details in these follow-ups. Yeah. He should wrap the details. Right so there. wrap so wrap the callback? Yeah. Like, yeah. tell us what's happening between the two of y'all and why you can't really Over be with her. Wrap yeah. the callback and we'll give you definitive advice on what to do. Acapella, because if the, if the rap is trash, we know that you're lying Acapella. and she know that you trash and that's why she keep blowing your phone up because she's like nigga you ain't really doing nothing and you gotta be real descriptive too like LL Jacuzzi LL Jacuzzi LL Jacuzzi you called him LL Jacuzzi yo that's that's worse than Big LA yo on the 50 year anniversary of hip hop you called LL Jacuzzi I'm really crying because I'm thinking about all them names they gave that dude that swim across LL Jacuzzi is not one of them LL Pooja it should have been one though I mean like warm water. LL, LL Jacuzzi? Oh, that's disrespectful to the legend. <laughs> that's disrespectful On to the legend. TV. Oh my God. LL and what cool descriptive day. LL lyric are you talking about? Yeah. Like, no, yeah. like, you know how, like, you wanted to be in the He's got a big old butt, so I'm leaving you? No, he always, like, describes, like, he's very descriptive with, like, the girl, like, where he saw her, what he did for her. Like, he's very descriptive. So I want you to describe your girl. And Demaris just want to be in a jacuzzi with LL. Her. That's all that's about. What you just, what you, I'm sorry. What so you, you just want to be in a jacuzzi with LL. Would it be hip hop if it was, like, a hot tub at a party, but it was of a good size, and you were in the jacuzzi with LL Cool J. Wait, like say, say I went, say I went to like a party, okay, yeah, okay. over the weekend, okay, and I let y'all know it was in Long Island, so it was a big, big jacuzzi. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the only place big jacuzzis are in Long Island. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in, yeah, in the tri-state area. I got it. Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Am I wrong? Skip through Jersey, skip through all of the New York. I would just figured LL Jamaica would, states they don't have big jacuzzis out there. They no. do. Okay, but I feel like LL like would be in Bayshore. Okay, I don't think he'd be in all the Hamptons. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, I was in the jacuzzi with LL. You told me that? Yeah. I like said, I came pause up. first. Pause. <laughs> let's, start, let's start at the beginning. Pause. Who okay. else was in the jacuzzi? Just you two. Just, Just me and L. Nah, fam. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. nah. But there was the like water. a lot of, it was, we wow. were the only two that like, you know, maybe had a workout. We were sore and thought the jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah, ooh. Did you, did are, you, separately. you put your head underwater? Are the jets on? I'm not putting your head underwater in the jacuzzi. <laughs> it's I'm fucking not. crazy. That's, <laughs> That's Peach all day. Uh, putting your head under the water. Why would you put that on Peach? No, I told that story that. on the pod, no? What? Yeah, Peach put his head under the water in the jacuzzi? I think on a Patreon a long time ago. Yeah, it was. When me and Peach were in St. Thomas. Well, why did he do that? Yeah, why? It's Peach, bro. Listen, man. It was a family reunion at, that was staying at a resort, and there was a lot of young women of age uh-huh. I mean, in the jacuzzi. And Peach had had a lot to drink. It was right after Palooza. Okay, there you go. Shout uh-huh. out to Peach. And he, he swam underwater in the jacuzzi to pop up on Shorty. Like between her legs, Con- all consensual. Yeah, but <laughs> he went underwater in a jacuzzi. I just think that's crazy. <laughs> that's nasty. Putting your head under the water in a jacuzzi is fucking insane. Just emerging from a jacuzzi is nuts. Okay, but what if <laughs> and it was like... it was smaller than this carpet? Like, oh my like god, I th- he swam what? past. He swam like under my legs to get there. <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't like a bit that's he had to disgusting. maneuver that's fucking disgusting which means I know man. he opened his eyes under there too oh my god he had to see where he was going <laughs> Jesus Christ no that's nasty that's disgusting Ew. jacuzzi's in, in essence is disgusting to me though Phone parties mm-hmm. I'm just like a germaphobe with shit y'all like never that. had sex in a jacuzzi I did once and I felt in bad for her after um, well I was like she was like on the top like she wasn't in the water mm-hmm. and my legs was like I was standing up like mm-hmm. she was like laying on her back outside of the jacuzzi Mm. Yeah, I did. But never like in the water like that. In in water sex to me is crazy. I'm getting head like that. Under she was underwater. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Who the fuck are you getting head? Drowning early? Like, f- <laughs> no, it was just like in the moment. You had your you had your penis in her mouth underwater. Yeah. How does that work? So uh, did I she, don't want to show you. She, <laughs> is she alive? Did yeah, that snorkel. That was great. That it was a great day for me. Mm-hmm. That's Wait, how was it good though? How did you? But like, did yeah, she just go down there time. to like kiss? Why? It? Like, you though? can't suck if you get all that water. And... It was a mix. It was a mix of pool water and, and spit. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, it wasn't the most hygienic thing. I don't think you felt the spit. I'll be honest with you. I felt the mouth. I just felt like I just feel like getting head under water is like it's a lot better than you think. It's like <laughs> doesn't she swallow water when she does it? I guess that that's not my fault. <laughs> oh, she's she's aqua woman. Yeah. For sure. What? She, how the fuck do you even do that? Yeah, I don't. That's not fun. Though. Was her nose above the water? Because I can see how you could do it. If you're she scuba head. What's she an alligator? Scuba head is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the scuba head. No, yo, keep your nostrils above the water. Yo, if she tried to do that, yo, it's not that serious. A crocodile is funny. Resurface, yo, yo, dear. Yo, yo. I was a little concerned at one point. <laughs> that's sick. Eddie. Keep your nostrils above the water. Did you bust underwater? Absolutely not. 
No. No. I was more concerned than I was. That's interesting. Wow. That has to be top three worst head ever. It was just interesting. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. I've had worse head than that. You were in it for the story, okay? 100. So the, the top yeah, three will be two more that's that worse than that. But that's top. Getting three. jacuzzi head is. It sounds cool. No, nah, that's terrible. In theory, getting head in water is terrible. That's I don't even. I head. still can't fathom scientifically how that could even work. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Yeah. Well, you don't Gills. have the jaws of life, Rory. I think it was about six. Thank you. Miles. And I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the jaw. It's the intake of your lungs, though. The jaw like, is how funny, do you though. even also take water. that much water in? Well, you don't when inhale. Putting a dick I would in your assume mouth. if she would, it's like hookah. Like you don't inhale, guys. I don't. First of all, you don't take it all the way into your lungs. I, I you can't just tell leave you it, leave it in your mouth. So his dick was airtight. Like I don't understand. Kind of. It was, you can't compare it to hookah smoke. No, because with hookah, like when you Please go to inhale, you don't let hookah. the hookah smoke go down your throat. So you wouldn't let the water go down your throat. You let it go in your mouth. So you do the thing where you close the back of your throat, and the water would just stay in your mouth, and you would breathe. Way too delicate. There's a dick have you in given, there. I feel like that Demaris, just fucks things up. Have you given jacuzzi head? No. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you definitely had fucking at one the, of them She just gave us the how to. Yeah. 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 Step by step. Yeah. That was, sounds about I was right. telling y'all how I would assume that you would do it. At like, the how hide I in Syracuse. How I would assume. In theory. The hide in Syracuse. <laughs> <laughs> With LL in Long Island. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same shit. All right. Do we have one more? Yeah. yeah let's do it. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? What the uh, my name's Cicero. My friend. Hold on, hold on. Cicero. Pause that. Pause that. Pause that. Pause. Cicero, Cicero. First of all, my nigga, <laughs> lower your tone. <laughs> lower your tone when you call here, B. Like, what are the you fuck? part of Boys to Men? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? Turn. Can you turn Cicero down? Take some reverb off this nigga's throat or something, uh, man. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> yo. Also, <laughs> why do you have like three seconds of air <laughs> to get He's ready in a to talk to y'all? Yeah, start that over and take some reverb off of that. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, my name's Cicero. My friends call me Cereal, but this question is for me. All right, stop, 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 uh, stop. Stop, stop. First of, first of all, my nigga, let me explain something to you. Cereal. Don't ever tell me your friends call you Cereal and say this question is for all. No, it ain't. Don't address me when niggas call you Cereal, yo. What the fuck is going on right now? Cereal? You're like Fruit Loops? Yeah, what the and, fuck? Is- and it's not like it's shortened down. They could call you Cicero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like, like the same syllable. Yeah, like cereal? Like, just say Cicero yeah, at that point. they're both three syllables. Yeah, like, what the fuck is... Nah, oh, man, my really God, man. All right, man. Go, go ahead, he Julian. He should have just led with cereal and not told his real name. Yeah. Just just go ahead, Julian. I'm sorry, man. Cicero. Here for Rory, Julian, Baby D, Eddie E, Yomi. Uh, look. Thank you. So, me and my girl been together for three years. We got a cat. I... Uh, a cat left. Yeah. She went to Europe. To, she's doing some astrophysics shit. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but she's gone for the next four months. Uh, she's been gone for a month. So like two weeks ago, I hit up my friends and I was like, "Hey yo, y'all want to come over? It's just weird as hell being around the house and ain't nobody here. Like I ain't used to that." So they come over. I'm like, "Cool." One of my friends hits me up halfway through. He's like, "Hey yo, is it cool if my friend slides through?" And I was like, "Yeah." So I come over. It's all good. It's all cool. He comes over. Uh, we chilling for a little bit, but then before the night ends, he's like, hey, yo, you got a cat? And I was like, yeah. And then he starts saying, like, hey, yo, you can't be a man with a cat. One of these and I was balls like, what do you mean? He was like, so when the cat's hungry, you like, hey, come get your food, puddles. What? You chilling, you're like, hey, come eat puddles. So I'm like, yeah, that's, that's my cat. He's like, ain't no straight man in this world. Got a cat. And he's listening to all these wrong. things. Yeah. He's like, be more aggressive. He's like, hey, be like, hey, come here, puddles. But I'm like, no, 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 no. So anyway, my question is, Ma, is it hip hop <laughs> to have a cat? Can we stop? Should like, I be more aggressive. This has to be the last. To it is it hip hop straight question? <laughs> We're dragging these way too much. No, these are great. <laughs> First of all, puddles is an amazing name for a cat. I want to make that clear. Puddles is a good name. I love that name. For yeah, me. for any animal, puddles is funny. Puddles is a funny name. Sounds like a calico. So a straight man can't have a cat? <sighs> it was. It, listen. he never been to the Bronx. I was going to say, my buddy Hector has a cat. He has a cat because he gives off cat vibes. He has a Hector cat because he has mice. Cat vibes. <laughs> he has a cat because he has mice. He lives in the Bronx. He has mice. No. Probably why he has a cat. His cat's name is Socks. Yeah. He kills mice. Good name. His cat is probably a hunter, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you live in a... If you live in the inner city, you live in the hood, and you know, apartment buildings usually have mice, rodent problems. That's probably that's probably why most people have cats that live in the in What the if hood. he just likes cats? You can like cats, but if you own a cat in the hood, more n- times than not, you're trying to keep mice out of your apartment. I like cats. Um 
It is kind of weird when a guy <laughs> owns a cat, though, <laughs> and not a dog. It is a little like, why? But why? I, I feel like I always because cats thought, are so. I'm not a cat person, but I don't. I grew up I feel with like a cat. Rory. I feel like Rory. A cat would have been better for you than Bay's. Here's why: cats don't require as much attention. But I want to give Bay's attention. I know, but like yeah, they Baze don't. Actually, they don't require for you to be home. You see what I'm saying? But I, that's why Bay's would just go with me everywhere. Even to LA. You can't bring a cat everywhere like that. Yeah, though. you can't bring a cat everywhere. That's nasty. You'd be weird to bring a cat everywhere. You'd be weird to own a cat too. <laughs> That's my whole point. Like, no, cats don't. are just so like they're independent. Anti social. Well, for the most part, they're independent. Anti-social. They're self sufficient. Um, I told a story not. how I didn't know one of my homeboys owned a cat until we were probably like 18 and we knew each other since we were like six. And he had the cat for like 12. 11 years and I, one That's day the crazy. cat just walked in the living room. I was like whose fucking cat is this <laughs> he was like mine I was like when did you get a cat cause the cat he said anytime the doorbell rings the cat, cat runs under the couch runs under the bed whatever whatever so naturally whenever I go over and we gotta ring the bell he would hide this was just the day I guess the cat wanted to say hello so it is a little it's a little it's I got little. questions if you own a dog I'm not I don't have no questions but if you my homeboy and you own a cat, I'm like, so tell me, how did this, how did this happen? But he said it's his girl's cat. So that's cool. It's, it's your girl's cat. That's that's all you gotta say. It's my girlfriend's cat. Like, so single man, not hip hop to own a cat. Single man, no. Damn, sorry. Hector. That's not hip hop. I grew up with a cat. Yeah, well, but that's a family know, cat. We also know that you're a, it's a family cat. A fairy. I yeah. had pizza that's from crazy. my uh my mom had a cat named Lassie. <laughs> That's fake a last dog. name like that. Me. Fake ass. That would be irony. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know how to say. <laughs> That's a dog name. It's a Maine Coon cat. I'm trying to say it quick enough. No, say it. Again. How you spell that? Maine Coon. It, it's your. It was your Maine. Coon. <laughs> what did you yeah, call it? That was his Maine Coon. <laughs> it was your Maine Coon. That was, that was his Maine. That was his Maine Coon. Trying sure. to say it quick so you guys yeah. didn't catch it. Yeah. That's the name of the fucking cat. That was his top coon. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest worker. <laughs> nah, that about, cat so, hated me so fucking much. Anytime course. I walked past it, it would swipe. And those cats are like this fucking big. They're mm-hmm. huge. Mm-hmm. Evil. I just fucking, I just hated cats ever since then. Yeah. I still have PTSD. Cats are evil. Cats are, they're not evil. Cats they're, are evil. Lassie was evil as fuck. I mean, goon cat. I was in college when Lassie died and my mom called me and was like, oh, was, that's the it, cat your mom had? It wasn't that big, but it was. A big cat. I was about to say, that cat would have that's, gotten... No, that's like a probably fake viral. That's a fuck. No, they're that's, they're no, very no, big. Maine Coons do get really They're big. very big cats. Long cats are long. M- bigger than Baisley, for sure. At that point, get a dog. Baisley's small. I don't want a cat that... that that's a fucking bobcat. <laughs> it's big as shit. Yeah. Well, no, ironically, my dad got us the cat and then left. <laughs> <laughs> that's a true story. My dad came back with a cat and then moved to Baltimore. Uh, <laughs> that's a great story. <laughs> I, bought him a cat. 100% I got that's out of it. That's I'm leaving, that's I'm leaving to Baltimore. Work. Yeah, that's I'm leaving um, to Baltimore. Okay. And then my mom ended up just loving the cat. I, we never got along. And my mom called me. It lived fucking forever. I was 11 when we got it. Then when I was in college, my mom called, hey, Lassie died. I was like, thank fucking God. She's like, how could you say that? I was like, <laughs> Were you a, I still have scars on my arm from your fucking favorite hey, well, pet. She probably yeah. loved that cat. I like wouldn't go in the living room because that cat was in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, cats are, <laughs> you didn't, see, you didn't know last, he told, he didn't know last, he didn't know last, <laughs> you didn't know last, see, know. you say it all, you did not know last, he didn't count, he didn't have them encounters, I already know, not, you see, didn't know, see, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be talking this way if you knew that. That's last. one of the reasons why I really don't particularly care for cats, is because yeah. I think they're way more unpredictable than dogs, 100%. Yeah. Way more unpredictable. You can't trust a cat, bro. Yeah, like, they got herpy tongues, like, I just don't like it. What is herpy that, tongue. what's a herpy what is that? tongue? Is their, their tongues are very bumpy. You never had a cat lick you before? Very textured. Nah, <laughs> no. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Oh, it's like sandpaper. Yeah, it's they're, yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. they're very bumpy. Rough. Nobody's cat is licking me. I, I mean, I'll our, lick some cat. I think our cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Our cat. Did have bumps on it? She was like no. 17 or 18. <laughs> our your cat, cat was old. Your cat died at 18? She was, we got her in 2000. She passed wow. away, I think, in like 2017 or 2018. She was old. Wow. Very cool. grumpy. You used to yeah. pick your cat up and kiss it? If I, if I had one, not just random cat. No, your cat, yeah, your, your family cat. cat. Cats don't even want to be kissed. Like, Bays that's, wants all the attention in the world. That's what I'm asking him. Like, our cat was cool until my parents got the dog, and then she hated everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's well, was like, I mean, that at, makes sense. Yeah, she was like, I'm at the end of my life, and then you brought this mess into the house, and it was yeah. just like the whole It's like, I'm about oh, to last, die, and this is what you want a dog? Yeah. Lassie used to beat the shit out of Munson, my dog. Like, <laughs> damn, you got some white ass. Yo, Lassie, Munson? Munson. Lassie and Munson. Lassie and Munson. Well, so 
<laughs> Thurman Munson was a catcher for the Yankees. Yes. Yeah, so I'm that's not. where Munson, they don't know that. They're, oh, okay. The, Munson's old for us. Slim. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, Thurman Munson. Your mom was a big Thurman Munson fan? Or your no, dad? my dad. And he, when he left, he, the dog stayed too. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so he wasn't even your mom was his no, side my, my dad it's was crazy. a huge Thurman Munson fan. That man just said blank yeah. slate. Uh, like, take the cat, take start the fresh. <laughs> Keep everything. Keep my clothes, everything. I'm out. No, but the dog was there since I was like a baby. So that, I mean, I guess it kind of made sense. I loved Munson. That was mm -hmm. my dog since I was a baby. Mm -hmm. But the cat, like you can't just show up with a cat and then leave the next day. Yeah, that's just weird. He did. That's wild. <laughs> I guess he felt, you know, in his absence, he wanted the house to still feel. No, because if you think about it, like a cat is like a father. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> yeah, when you put it like that. <laughs> they yeah. don't need you. <laughs> Self-sufficient. Especially when about to enter your teenage year. Yeah. The guidance you really need come they, from. A cat. The main Coon. Your the angles are cool. You got <laughs> your main Coon. <laughs> Who named the main Coon cat? <laughs> are they from Maine? Is that where the breed originates? Is that how it's spelled for real? Like Maine, the state, and then no, the word I'm not going to say? A-N-E. Yeah, I don't think it's spelled. What do you mean? Uh, no, I don't think they're M from Maine. It says M A I N E. Right? Oh, all right, maybe they are. Like oh, Maine. wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're from Maine. What's their origin? I thought they were like Asian cats or some shit. We're currently looking at Maine Coon cats, guys. Yeah, we're looking at Maine Coon cats. Uh, you two got. Oh, it's course, the state cat wrong. of Maine. Wow. Okay. Maine. Yeah. Maine. And where'd the coon come from then? Now that's to be broken down on the call. Because if you see in the description, <laughs> if you see the description, it explains thoroughly why it's called Maine. Yeah. yeah and then look. doesn't say what that second word. It's not a Maine cat. Uh, it's a coon. A coon is descended from these brought to New England by settlers. Uh, settlers? Well, there it goes. You know, settlers always had the best intentions. Yeah. There you go. The Quakers. The coons. Quaker. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, uh, Serial. He's listening. Oh, they okay. said that's what his name was. Serial. What was his name? Octavius? C Cicero. Cicero. Oh, shit. Sorry. Octavius. Octavius. Where did you get that know. from? That was some crazy. He thought he was a Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Octavius. Octavius, Octavius Prime. Prime. <laughs> I know um, it's a little boy in the hood named Octavius wait. for sure. It's not. It's definitely not hip hop to be single and own a cat. But why is, why is Madison Sorry, Square Garden in this? <laughs> Who's bringing this cat to Madison Square Garden? Probably a cat show. Yeah, there's cat, there's cat shows at the garden. For of sure. course, yeah. Are you kidding me? What? The best I don't think it's a weird thing not to know. Yeah, Why are you guys I, still I, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm because there's dog world. shows at the garden. <laughs> that okay, makes dogs sense. actually do shit. Cats cat, do too. You think cats are the most agile? One of the most agile planets, um, uh, <laughs> animals on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> one of the most agile yeah. animals on the planet. They're like no, Pluto. Right, no, kill me for a uh, jacuzzi, though, right? <laughs> I'm just no, that, yes, definitely. Yes. Hello, Pool J. I wanted. To, I meant to say planets, but not right there. But yeah, cats are agile as fuck. Absolutely, they should be in a, in a show. <laughs> You didn't All know right, over and under on what Tory Lanez is going to be sentenced to. Today. Wow, that's insane to go from that to that. Oh, I think he's going to get that 13. I think he's going to get three and do one. What? what? There's no way you think interesting. that. Interesting. There's no I, way. I think that's an interesting You think thought. he's going to do one year in jail? I think he's going to get three. Get some, no. Three and do one. I think he's going to get that full 13. For sure. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think they're allowing somebody to get shot in Beverly Hills. and No. Sit down for one. You're not firing a gun that many times in that in that area, you know, near those private houses, um, and then striking a woman, and only doing a year. Do you think he'll you'll get sentenced thirteen and do the full, or, or how, when will do you think he'll get out? I think he'll I think he'll do ten. Okay. <clears throat> I think he'll probably do ten, um, between seven and ten. And uh, but I do think he'll be deported. Oh, oh, oh that's gonna yeah, I mean, that's gonna sure. happen oh, regardless, yeah, yeah. but. I mean, I'd rather be deported to Toronto than do time in jail. No, they're going to make him do the time. And then to be deported first, after. Then but I'm saying that's after. the least of the, the worry. Not for him. Being deported and not being able to come back to the States? He, but he's not going to do shit in the States regardless since he's been guilty. He's going to make his money in Dubai. Dubai's not going to care about that. He's being deported from the United States. Yeah. He, he'll make money overseas because overseas don't really give a fuck. As, an, as, an, as a recording artist, you need to come to the United States. I think as a recording artist that has shot a woman and has the stain that Tory Lanez has, he wouldn't have come over here regardless. What do you mean? He would. I think he would have. He was here. I think he would have. I, but after all this, I don't see him doing jail time and then making as much money as he would overseas that it, than he would. Why do you think he's going to make money overseas? Overseas, because overseas doesn't particularly care. You have more of a, a range of countries that don't give a fuck. I'm with you on that Dubai wave. They don't give a fuck. Curious what the appeal <clears throat> situation will be. Because I know the new lawyers were trying to say no jail time. Just put him in counseling for alcoholism. and That's not going to happen. 
I saw the state of California. State of California ain't going for that. I saw a really funny headline that said, Tory Lane says he's not guilty, but if he is guilty, it's because of alcoholism and childhood trauma. No, it's too late for that. I think, I think, you know, I, I think that he would have had a better chance going that route if that was his stance from the very beginning. For sure. Like if he had said, yo, I got drunk and I, I did do it. it. I didn't mean for that to happen, but I was fucking twisted. Had that been his stance from the gate? He got right on the stand and said that. I think still that, doing I jail think, time. I think still, still doing jail time, but I think that it would have been less aggressive with the jail time. I don't think the, the prosecutors would have asked for 13 in that case. No. But his stance, his arrogance, his ego, all of that the leading way, up to it. Kelsey got up, up yeah. on the stand lying and playing around with them. All of that. Pissed. He wasted that the court's time this. on a lot of shit. Too. Yeah, like, that's, that, this is where this 13, them asking for 13 oh, comes into play. But if he from the gate would have said, yo, listen, I got drunk. No criminal record. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have been, been more, they would have looked at more things and been a little more lenient. Like, okay, he already admitted to us that he was drunk. He fired the gun, didn't mean to, whatever. For some reason, they thought he could beat, they thought he was beating it. Like, they thought that he could win that case. Even after that phone call with Kelsey, they thought he could beat that case. I just don't understand how they how they thought that. That was absolutely crazy. But, you know, if people, their thing is, oh, they got to prove it. A lot of people say they got to prove I did it. So they maybe they thought they had, you know, beyond a reason. Because they got to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Let's try to raise that reasonable doubt. And we might be able to beat this. No, that's not how that happens. Tory Lanez uh, should get hired as a PR agent the moment he gets out. Because... The PR that was out there before that case even had me thinking like, oh man, maybe this case isn't what we thought it was. Yeah. And then like you hear like, oh yeah, no, the neighbor said that the, saw a woman fire the gun. And then the neighbor was like, yeah, no, I saw Tori do it. <laughs> <laughs> but that was, but that was people falling victim even to just read it, whatever. They, I, don't, I don't know the real, I know everyone on the internet is extremely pro Tori and we should be happy that Meg was shot. I get it guys. I get it. Read it. But that case was fucking nuts. Yeah, Tori had the greatest PR spin ever in that entire case. I know you guys will say it's because that's the real truth, but I don't know. <laughs> that's the real truth. Not according to the state of California. Well. And that's I, all that matters in this, in this case. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, what we got going on for the rest of the week? Chilling. Hip -hop we got 50 some hip-hop 50, hip -hop 50 uh, episodes dropping. Yes. Uh, Full DJ Enough episode will be out on Wednesday. Yeah, um, followed by some more guests throughout uh, the next few episodes. Mm -hmm. So, enjoy this bonus content. Uh, happy birthday, Hip Hop Fifty! Woo. We thank you so so much for everything that you've given us. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll be back soon. We'll be back soon. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. We'll talk to you at the end of the week. And um, until then, y'all be safe, be blessed. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. Peace. No Rory and Ma. This special Hip Hop Fifty episode of New Rory and Ma is brought to you by eBay. Rory. Yes. Us hip hop fans, we know authentic when we see it, when we hear it. You can't fake us out. Absolutely. And that's why we are partnering with eBay. They know how important it is to be real. Your sneakers, your watches, your jewelry, your handbags are always real with eBay's authenticity guarantee. Nothing gets by those guys. At all. eBay, the details inspected. The fakes rejected. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. Happy birthday, hip hop.